Please welcome retired filmmaker George Lucas. Do you want to set a stretch goal? Do you want to set a stretch goal for me to open up this uh, Star Wars themed uh, Kinder Joy? Sure. Do you want to make it? Uh, what do you want to make it? Make it a tiny one. We'll say where we are and just pop it up a little bit. We are at thirteen seven nine nine. Let's so do let's uh, say, 13, let's eight, say, 1,800. No, let's say 14,250. This is a tiny one. This is not much. I, I'll do it for a dollar. No, George, we got to say 14,250. Um, Wano's well, not here. We should bring in the guests to get their introductions. Is that okay? Absolutely, but you do the prep work. I don't introduce guests. Okay. Hey, guys, how are you? <laughs> hello. It's great to be here. Hello, hello. I want to be clear, you guys are not on the show yet. But you can okay. be seen and heard, but this isn't official. This is not the official. Oh. What we need, yeah, what we need to get from you guys is how you want to be introduced. Mwato isn't here. He's usually the guy who does it. He'll be here in a minute. How do you guys want to be introduced? Uh, okay. Um, I, uh, a, uh, uh, <laughs> there's stuff. Um, okay. I'm an author uh, and a TV and comic book writer. Okay. I Jordan? guess just Marvel Comics senior editor Jordan D. White. All right, here we go. See you guys in a minute. I feel like we, we need to that. not say to people you're not on the show yet because someone's going to say something that they're going to make a joke and say something well, cancelable. Let me introduce our guests. You know what I mean, uh, though, Patrick. I feel okay. like everybody thinks that we're in a. When you say that, you need to lead with everyone can see and hear you. Um. A. Uh. Uh. A. Uh. He's a writer, he's a television writer, he's a comic book writer. And he's also second guest is a senior editor for Marvel Comics. Please welcome Daniel Kibblesmith and Jordan D. White. Hello. Hey. Woo, yay. Patrick, you did an awesome job recreating my stammering as I try yeah. to remember what I do for a I, living. I have an issue. I have an issue with this. I, uh, Patrick, this is not the Comedy Central roast. We do not roast our guests upon entry. Do you understand Jordan. that, Patrick? Yes. Water's going to be furious when he finds out what you just did to Daniel. And did you see that, Water? Did you see what he did? The cruelty, the cruelty of Patrick Kotnar is is unparalleled. I thought it was part of it. I thought it was part of it. I want Patrick. To oh, the cruelty is the policy. I've heard that before. I've heard a few op eds over the past four years. Patrick. I thought it was part of it. Good. I Lord. thought this was the George Lucas talk show, not the Kenny Rogers. What does that mean, Watto? Because you're a roaster. <laughs> Guys, how's your how's your uh, life day? Wait, I'm sorry. Wait a second. I'm sorry. Right. Oh, wait, is, is Ross Geller on the stream? Because that's quite a pivot. Okay. <laughs> so, is this officially life day? Is this is this the date we're saying? This is, it, but wait, I'm so confused, Patrick. Who are we talking to? We're talking to Daniel Smith and Jordan D. White. Well, that feels impossible because I haven't introduced them yet. Oh, God. Solid. Go ahead. Folks, I'm very excited about these next two guests coming to the show. They're about to make their first appearances on the live day live day stream. Can you bring them back so we find out how they want to be introduced? Daniel Jordan, how would you like to be introduced? After you, Jordan. Uh, I, how about uh, senior editor at Marvel Comics, Jordan D. White? Perfect. Okay. And Daniel? Okay. I'll be an uh, author and a TV and comic book writer, Daniel Kibblesmith. Okay, great. <laughs> Come on, Wado. Come on. It's a new stream. I have to get the lozenge. I have to make sure... Ladies and gentlemen, Grogu's and Gragas everywhere. Senior editor at Marvel Comics, a comedian and writer, Jordan D. White and Daniel Kibblesmith. I forgot the second. That was close. That was close. That was perfect. That could not have gone better. Yeah, let us know when we're on the stream, though. You're on now. Now you can. <laughs> Jordan, there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of Jordans. There's oh. Michael. There's Air, there's uh, uh, Catalano, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's Klepper, yep. uh, uh, McGear. <laughs> well, I think you've gotten to one I didn't recognize. Uh, Jordan I'd McGear? 
She's the head of programming at NBS, the network that runs Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip. <laughs> oh, I watched that show, and right. I'm familiar with it. I just forgot yeah, yeah. the name. You're right. Yeah, You're yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you have a favorite Jordan, excepting yourself? Like, a rule you're saying you can't vote on yourself in this. Do you have a favorite Jordan or a Jordan where you felt cool having the name Jordan? Uh, wow. And you thought, like, yeah, yeah, I feel a bond because of that. Also, uh, Jordan is my middle name. So if you want to factor Whoa. me into the list. We, of... it's, it's Jordan time. Yeah. Wow. Bryson, Bryson, I know we're not doing bumpers, but make it for the future anyway, because we can do this segment on a regular show. <laughs> so no, uh, no no, pressure, but I am in the mix. I mean, here's yeah. the thing. If middle names count, I have to go with my son, who also mm -hmm. absolutely count. And what a lovely thing to do on Life Day. To, what a lovely tribute to your son on Life Day. Right. But I will say... I I was I'm I don't I'm not a sports person at all, mm -hmm. but uh, I did enjoy when there was lots of Jordan clothing and and uh, shoes because I was like, yeah, that's for me. Her Jordans. Everyone's trying to get your shoes. <laughs> that that must have felt pretty good. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there have been some pretty bad Georges. Oh, like uh, any any come to mind? W. Oh, that one. Yeah, heard of him. King. H W. H W. But there's good. There's some good. There's some good Georges. There's some good Georges, of course. If we had a Al, list, which Al. what do you think would be longer? The the good Georges or bad Georges? More good Georges than bad, but it's close. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> uh Bailey, Pal, um, Gershwin, um Went. Um Eporgy, Went. Um, um Jetson Miller. Up there. Yeah. yeah. Jefferson. Jefferson there are some play. George last names too, aren't there? Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. Who's the best Daniel? That's me. Oh, okay. Great. Or the tiger. I guess who's it might your, be a tie. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite Daniel excluding yourself from the, <laughs> from the running? My favorite Daniel. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to go with the tiger. I'm going to go with Daniel Stripe, the tiger from Mr. Rogers. Uh, and I believe he got his own animated spinoff. Uh, after yeah. Fred died. That's mm -hmm. right. What? That makes it sound as if they were they were denying him the spinoff, and then he jumped at the chance. <laughs> yeah, but there was some backstage stuff going on. <laughs> he was, you're part he was of my it? show. You're part of my show. I'm not going to let you do a spinoff, Daniel. What did you look like? like? That makes me sad. I want my own show. No, you're not. I won't allow you. You have signed a contract, Daniel. You should have read the fine print. <laughs> but I want to have my own show. Would you let Watto have his own show? Absolutely. If he wanted one, he never, he never wants, uh, his own show. Uh, he, uh, he's glad whenever there's a scheduling opportunity, uh, if it's, if it's filling in, but he doesn't seem to want to, he's, he doesn't seem to want to helm his own ship. He's a team player. Mm -hmm. Wait, yeah. what would you, I would, there we go. The track record has not been great because I, I had to do the show myself one month because you were working on the museum and I did the one man show at the UCB and then a pandemic hit the world and the theater closed down forever. That like was the last days, like show. Three days later, Wada. <sighs> yeah. It was like to the point March where six. you can say that, that, uh, 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 that it, uh, it's not, there's not literally a causal connection, but it's hard to deny. You know, it's right. so close that it's like, okay, sure, the pandemic, but Occam's right. razor. So yeah. I, I don't want my own show out of uh, consideration. Mm -hmm. What if, man. what if the pandemic ends and the theaters come back? Then will you do your own show? I, I think it would really be pressing my luck to <laughs> think that this time the results would be any different. Well, ideally, what we should do is just to find things that that uh, yeah. need to like. You could go to super spreader events and do a show there in order to shut them down indefinitely. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's, that's a great idea. idea. Or like North that's Korea nice or the Church of Scientology. Yeah. We just start using you to neutralize these kinds of toxic institutions. Health I officials weaponize Watson. Health officials have say. have been clear to stipulate that even once you get the vaccine, Watto still can't do a solo show. Oh, like wow. you'll still have to you'll you'll still have to be a, a part of an ensemble. Uh, and, I apologize if I if I seem distracted for a moment there while while you folks were talking. Um, I was making a little arts and crafts project so I can see you better. 
Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> wow. Now, I... Very good. Get I, that get that chocolate money, Watto. <laughs> now, Daniel, Jordan, what are yes. your guys' life wishes? Let's hear these. And let's, uh, get a clean, let's get it, before you make your wish, let's get a clean read on the word McClunky from both of you. Sure, Jordan, do you want to go first? All right, I'll do that one. McClunky. McClunky. Yes. Two different That's reads, good. both excellent. How are these going to be weaponized against us? Because I feel like <laughs> oh, I didn't really ask any questions about. <laughs> Daniel, uh, we, don't, we don't know when we'll figure it out. <laughs> do, 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 do we know what it means? I've heard people talking about the translation. I know what it means. I wouldn't insert the final word in episode four and not know what it means. W would you be willing to share? If I wanted to say it, I would have had a scene afterwards where someone said, what's that mean? And someone else said, well, <laughs> oh, here's a dictionary. Well, but like, here's the thing about that. You actually did do that in the sense that there's a translation under every other line in that scene. Just right. that one line, all of a sudden, yeah. isn't so, that like a strange stylistic change? Of course it is. But it, it, Star Wars was always a strange movie. It was all, There were always things that were left mysterious. I didn't put a translation there for a reason. The artist has his reasons. And you don't want to share. I them. don't. If I wanted you to know what McClunky means, I would have put it on the screen. Yeah. And I've said some things in the past. I've defined it in in interviews with or in conversations with friends. Uh, but I don't think I've ever really told anybody the true significance. But I will say, I think people are getting it. I think people are starting to get it. Look, I'm very surprised, Jordan, as a writer, that you're asking to be able to read a character's thoughts at all times. See, see, but that's where you're confused. He's the writer. I'm the editor, so okay. I am paid to ask questions like this. You're, you're the Martha Lucas of the group, but I still, I still think that's not how it works. You can't just read what the character is thinking at any given moment. But, like, <laughs> if you could... <laughs> Well, I just thought if, well, I, don't, I wouldn't presume to say that I could improve Star Wars, but I thought if you told me, then I could help you get closer to your vision. But if that's fine. I, I understand. What do you think no. it means? What do I think it means? Yeah. I think it means there's pretty much no way this can go wrong. Oh, wow. That's, that's what McClunky means. That seems like an informed guest in, in the context. Yeah, I kind of dig that. Yeah. Okay, wait, let's get these life day so wishes. In other words, do you think it means I have a good feeling about this? <laughs> yes, there you go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it, it sounds like what you want is you just want a sort of clear label. Right? I mean, you want a label on screen so things are very organized. You understand who is who. But yeah. Like, well, I mean, yeah, sure. But like, yes. Let's say yes. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Jordan, tell us your yes. wish. Um, I'll tell you what. I, the, the thing I want most this holiday season oh. is actually, uh, and in, which includes Life Day, obviously, is mm -hmm. actually uh, Star Wars Legos. I I didn't last time I was on this show when you were mm -hmm. watching Solo as part of your yeah. marathon. Yeah. Uh, I had never done Star Wars Legos, and during the stressful time of this pandemic, people recommended Lego to me, and I went straight for the Star Wars vehicles, and yeah. I love them. Jordan, also, coming out, I think, at the end of this month, there's a new Star Wars Lego video game. Wait. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, all right. I'll have to check it out. Highly recommend. They're all very fun. Daniel, what is your life day wish? Uh, well, I don't want a Lego video game because I got an Avengers one a few years ago, and I couldn't figure out how to do a lot of the basic stuff, and it destroyed me emotionally to be unable to complete this video game that was designed for literal little tiny babies. <laughs> was it this one? Was it this one, uh, well, That's, I, well, that's a collection, Patrick. I'm very confused. It's but one of yeah, them. I'm pretty, sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's one that was in there. Right. It's it's the one where Hulk goes to Grand Central Station and they do some of the Avengers movie stuff. Yeah, that's Lego the Avenger. Yeah. That's yes. So I had that, and I couldn't yeah, yeah. figure out um, the mechanics of collecting the 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 little coins and and interacting with things. Uh, Patrick, right, my, Patrick likes that one because in Grand Central Station, famously, if you go down in the food court, uh, it is filled with rats. 
<laughs> and snacks. Shame on you. That's where I learned it. But three things the, the food court at the Grand Central Station has. Rats, snacks, and people taking naps. Unfortunately, you do see a lot of people napping there. Yes, it's but a real say, it's a real rat snack snaps <laughs> situation. And so what, so what so is what's your, your wish? wish? If you don't want the Legos, what's your wish? All right, my wish is uh, unless your uh, wish is to not have Legos, because <laughs> we can grant that immediately. <laughs> Well, uh, are you sure? <laughs> what if he has a lot of Legos? No, we will send it. We will no, send it by to rid. <laughs> they will come in and they will a, Lego, a Lego removal squad. Yeah. All right. Uh, my wish, my wish is that uh, as many people as possible who are able to get vaccinated do oh, it yeah. the first opportunity because my my fear is that people are going to uh, stop wearing masks and lie about being vaccinated so they can go into businesses and uh, and. Uh, there is uh, no evidence that you can't be a spreader, even if you are vaccinated, because uh, it accumulates in the respiratory system. And uh, that is not the kind of vaccination that we have at our, our disposal so far. Yeah, so you, you still the need yeah, to wear yeah, masks yeah. if you get vaccinated for yeah, a you, while. Did you hear about the British version that's coming out that's even uh, uh, more transmissible? No, no. Yeah, uh, the British, new, the new British new are coming out with a new COVID. There's a new COVID in England. Uh, it's an import now, uh, so it, we I, we haven't got it here yet. But apparently, it's much uh, more easily uh, transmissible. Special edition, but yeah, it's yeah, <laughs> it's with new added yeah, CGI. That's, right. that's where I filmed the first the first ones we made. Guys, what a thing to leave us on. There oh. you go. Hey, I got one final message to these two guests. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Are you a lucky too, Otto? I heart you a lot. All right. All right Happy life day. Oh, there's no more. Oh, all right. Oh. <laughs> happy life day. Bye. Thank you for having us, George. So uh, happy we want to stretch cold. Uh, Did it? What's that? Oh, oh kick. Wado, Wado, I'm going to bring in our, our next guest, and they're going to tell us how they want to be introduced. Okay. Did one of you take out headphones or something? I'm getting an echo, and I don't know who it's from. Who it's from? Okay. Okay. Hi, Alex. Hi. You're. I want to make it clear you're not on the show yet. But everyone can see and hear you. Why you're are, live. Oh, you, you're yeah. being broadcast. Okay. But this, this isn't canon yet. It doesn't count as part of the show because I haven't introduced you yet. Got it. So any relationship that happens here yeah. isn't doesn't canon. count. Yeah. Right. It, it's like maritime law. So <laughs> yeah, or like that Michael Bublé song. I just haven't met you yet. Right. Oh, yeah. we're, we're in Bublé territory, right? We're in, now. we're in the Bublé right now. We're living life in the Bublé. <laughs> so, <laughs> how would you like to be introduced when I am ready to introduce you and officially bring you on this show? Uh, like credits wise, or just in general? However you want. Oh, whatever you want. You can make it personal or professional or both. Okay. Um, just for a friend of the show, but you don't have to say that if it's not true. No, that's it good. All right. Bye, Alex. Bye. Folks, we got the friend of the show. Got a friend of the show. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. I'm so, I'm so excited to have them on the show. I don't want to leave them waiting any longer. I don't think we can. Gorgus and Gragras, please welcome Alex Son. Hi. Hi, Alex. How are you? Happy Life Day. Happy uh, life. life Day. I'm okay. How are you? How are you all? Doing all right. Yeah. Uh, I see. I see. You have a. Is that a, a superhero S in the background? Yeah. This is my brother's room. I thought I'm going to be hanging out with some nerds. Might as well have a nerd. <laughs> Ooh, solid burn <laughs> coming in hot. Star Wars poster there. Can we get the closer oh. look at that poster? Yeah. What's that Star Wars? Can, Can you move the camera, Alex? Or is the camera? camera it's. We want to see that poster up close. Star Wars. Okay, you want? I'll go on the. And is there really no parking? Yes. Is there really no parking there? <laughs> That's no parking here. You can't park on the bed. Oh, look at that! We got a little Dengar, a little Bosk, a little IG88, a little Zuckus, a little uh, Boba, Orlam. 
Yeah. Okay. And, and tell me that now, how is that police order enforced that no one can park <laughs> next to your brother's bed? Um, or is he, he being, or is a, he being silly? Well, here's a little secret. He stole that. I assume, I don't know. I assume it's not um, made for his room. Wow. So he must have taken There's it. not a purchased poster. You think that was a real emergency police order? I think so. I, I believe it was for Maplewood Pride in New Jersey. Pretty okay. cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Um, so are, are you in, you're in the Garden State right now? I'm in the Garden State right now. Um, quarantine, quarantining away from my mom in her house. So mm -hmm. uh, a real fun time. How yeah. is Zach doing? Zach? Zach Braff. Oh, yes, I should have known. <laughs> uh, Zach is great. We are from neighboring towns. He's from, <laughs> is he from Maplewood or South Orange? I forget which. South Orange? I always forget uh, which. He's from Scrubs. He's probably he's best from Scrubs. Scrubs. And then um, Dr. Cox from Scrubs is from Melbourne, the actor. Right. But Alex, do you remember what Zach Braff's recent uh, uh, tried TV comeback was called? <gasps> it was something Al Alex Inc. Was it Alex? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow! I wow. like to count. Hey, you're you're, you're getting closer and closer. You should do a show called Zach Inc. <laughs> Zach Inc. Wait, oh, Zach Inc. Okay. Or, I thought you were saying Zach. Zach. Make it a verb. <laughs> make it. A, make it. A, <laughs> make it. Darren. I yeah. like Zacking. Zacking. It sounds like it's like fracking, but it yeah, it sounds like fracking. Anti zacking. You guys, are you guys fracking? No, we're not fracking. We're zacking. We're zacking. That, I don't want to give an excuse to the energy companies to because they'll use that. They'll be like, no, no, we're not fracking. We're zacking. And then they'll take another five, six weeks to get the proper uh, warrants. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna definitely steal that and get yeah. away with it. My apologies, because it's a it's a foolproof <laughs> scheme. Alex, where do you stand on the issue of fracking? Yeah. I think I'm against it, but I haven't read enough. That's my honest answer. They'll always make you read more. <laughs> the energy companies, if they hear that, they'll say, well, you need to read all these things. And then you'll have to read all a bunch of, they'll hand you a pile of books. Meanwhile, they're zacking and fracking up a storm. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this much. There's nothing in my life that would be pro-fracking, so. Alex, hey. do you want me to read you the first paragraph from the Wikipedia page? Yes, please. Okay, this is the Wikipedia page for hydraulic fracking. Hydraulic fracking, also called fracking, oh, fracking without a K, I hate. hydro fracking, <laughs> fracking with two Cs, frack per comma, uh, no, what is that? Apostrophe ing, which looks like a Star Wars name, and hydro fracking is a well stimulation technique involved in the fracturing of dock formations by a pressurized lid. The process involved the high pressure injection of a fracking fluid primarily water containing sand or other pro propanes suspended with the aid of thickening agents into a well born to create cracks in the deep rock formations through which natural gas, petroleum, and brine will flow more freely. When the hydraulic pressure is removed from the well, all grains of hydraulic fracking propanes, either sand or aluminum oxide, hold the fractures open. Patrick, you have pitched this bit. Patrick reads the wiki <laughs> every week. And it's shame on you, shame on you for sneaking it into our Life Day celebration. Can I say officially, now that you've snuck it in, uh, this segment sucks. I will this say, I did get fail. something from what? that segment. Yeah. And now I know I'm pro-thickening agent. Whoa! Oh, you like it thick, P-H-I-C-C. <laughs> uh, yeah. We should get some uh, thickening agent for the premise of this show. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Reddit said that uh, we had a thin premise. Razor thin. Wow. If we got, yeah. if, maybe if we frack the show, if we use a thickening <laughs> agent on the That's premise. Really funny. <laughs> I think that dig and this response are both very yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, this, look, th today's about life day. It's about the raising money for feeding America. We haven't mm -hmm. been asking people if they have plugs. But you have a very exciting thing, which I feel like we'd be remiss oh. if we didn't talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. that's so nice. I would have forgotten if you hadn't brought it up. I, I ain't forgetting that squirrel. Um, no. that, yeah. That squirrel's getting up to some comedy. That squirrel's getting uh, up to some comedy. That squirrel is nuts. That's so funny. That's just some good puns. We got to use them. Uh, me and five other UCB uh, alum 
alums, alumni, uh, started a new survivors, uh, started a new comedy theater uh, and school called the Squirrel Comedy Theater. You can find us at thesquirrelnyc.com, thesquirrelnyc on all socials. Uh, right now we're virtual, but we're raising money for a physical space. We really want to emphasize um, increasing diversity in comedy and also uh, compensating performers. Those are two of our big tenants. Um, but yeah, we're excited about it. That's great. That's really exciting. Okay. And I so heard before, that so before you get the physical space, because obviously that we're a ways off from theaters being able to open again. But right now you're focusing on the fiscal space. Yes, we're focusing on the fiscal. Oh, gotta, I guess it's true. Uh, buildings yeah. ain't cheap. You know, you mm-hmm. gotta. Uh, you want to, you, especially if in New York City <laughs> where you're gonna be based, they they don't give them away. You know what I mean? They don't. We're we keep trying to get one of those free ones, but they try to get a free one, they won't give them. <laughs> Uh, can I give you some advice, Alex? Yeah, I'd love that. Because it sounds like so much of the raison d'etre of the Squirrel Theater is for UCB alums to create a new theater sort of righting the wrongs of the UCB, right? We learn from the past. We build upon it. And it's like, mm-hmm. how do you fix the fatal mistakes of the UCB? And mm-hmm. I think you got a couple of them dead to rights, right? Paid performers, uh, increased emphasis on diversity, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Can I suggest also, if you're trying to uh, correct the mistakes that the UCB made, uh, never let Watto do a one-man show. (laughs) Uh, Oh, okay. That was what closed the UCB. That was the final (laughs) nail in the coffin. It happened March 6th, 2020. That, oh, a a week before everything closed down? Yeah. It was that that Friday, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, well, what Alex, happened in the week after? Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, bad news. Bad news, Alex. <laughs> um, what? Uh, what is your life day wish? My and life. Be- day and before wish- you, and before you say it, can we get a clean read on the word McClunky? McClunky. Perfect. Yeah. Thank okay. You. Well, I I feel like it's going to be a bad life day wish based on you know you guys have such uh altruistic and lofty goals for the day and and my life day wish is just there's been uh an email i've been putting off for like a month and i hope well actually uh, i meant to say this the last time i was on this show there's been an email i've been putting out for a month and also an email i've been putting out for almost a full year from uh someone who's not on the show right now but someone named griffin newman emailed me and i've been meaning to email him back he's from new york he's friends with david sims the guy from New York, Dave Sims is from New York. Yeah, yeah. And I just get very overwhelmed with email, but they mean a lot to me, and so I just I hope I uh, do it tomorrow. Can I uh, let me say something hypothetically? <laughs> okay. Walter, and, then, and then I have a pro tip. Yeah. Okay. Walter is is not good at responding to email, right? <laughs> okay. A- and I feel like sometimes a trap that Watto gets into is that. When Watto emails someone, especially when it's a more like generalized email, not like a, hey, answer this question, but it's like a more sort of like person to person general reach out of okay. some kind, Watto is immediately burdened with the stress of, <laughs> oh, did I just now give someone else something to feel worried about not responding to in time, which I would <laughs> say is almost always the exact opposite. Of, of the import that drove the email in the first. Absolutely, yes. I, I so, trust that so the import that drove the email had nothing to do with burdening. Right. right, and the goal is sometimes just like, put the email out there. I don't need the response. I just want to know that the email is sent and received. I have a great, it I have a great workaround. And it, it, yes. Uh-huh. I have a great workaround that'll solve all your problems, okay? Oh, amazing. Uh, because you won't, you'll, you'll write an email, but it'll be very basic. What you do is, uh, before you respond to the email, uh, start a meeting in Zoom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then email gr- this guy Griffin and say, I am already in a Zoom meeting. Come join me uh, at this Zoom right now. You think he likes that? <laughs> I imagine. Who wouldn't like that? 
I don't know. Who, who, kind of like who would react to that? Who would react to that as if you were a crazy person? I can't, I can't tell if this is a reference to another thing that's no, happened. No, no, no. It's just an idea. It's I thought of. Idea. I'm constantly thinking of ideas that then catch on five years later, ten years later, twenty years later. I make a Marvel movie. Then Marvels are all the movies. I make a movie sound good. Then all the movies sound good. I make Marvels a movie. Computery, the now movies. they're all computery. Mm -hmm. This is um, how the future communication. Uh, thank you so much for coming on. You're the thank best. you for having me. This she's was getting so the boot. Fun. She's getting the boot. She's getting the boot. The I'm sorry. In the boot. I had so much fun seeing you all. Happy it's life, day, Alex. Happy life, day. Happy life day. Happy we life day. Happy life day. Oh man. Um, what's that feeling on that on that foot of yours, Patrick? It, it yeah. hurts. It hurts. All right, you're I'm gonna bring licking to kicking. Licking to kicking. to kicking. Wado, we have two I'm guests coming. You're a bootlicker, and now you are kicking guests off this show. Wado, we have two guests coming up. One of whom just lost service briefly, but they'll be back in a second. So I'm going to bring one in right now. Hey, hey, Martin. Happy life, Martin. So, Happy it life. is so nice to see you. Happy life day. We should Thanks, let man. you know right off the bat, uh, you are not on the show yet. Nice try. That's how the woke mob got Jeffrey Tubin. No, no, I'm not trying to tube in you. We're not going to be. Uh, Robbie, this extends to you as well. Robbie, Martin, you're not on the show yet. You are live and everyone can see and hear you, but you haven't been introduced yet, so it doesn't count. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So how would you like to be introduced for when you are on the show? Could you please introduce me as the host of Who Wants 269 with Martin Urbano every Monday on Planet Scum? Perfect. And Robbie, how would you like to be introduced? I barely have service, so I'm going to be in and out during my thing. I am in Mississippi. Where are we? Just on Alabama. We just got to Alabama. We're driving through the South camping in isolated areas. And uh, Robbie, this doesn't count. This is how we're going to... Robbie, wait, 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 Robbie, we gotta introduce you. All right. Take him take him off this Go train. Ahead. Yeah. Folks. I'm excited about our next two guests coming to the show. They're luminaries of the Planet Scum Network. The host of Who Wants to 69, Martin Urbano. And you know them. From having spotty service, so they're probably going to be in and out there. Where are they now? They're in, I think, Alabama. That's they're driving right now. They're in the car. They're in Alabama. Robbie Hoffman. Hi. Hi guys. Thanks for having us. How how uh, how is your guys' life going? How's what going, Patrick? What's happening there? Hi, Robbie. How is your life day going, Robbie? What Happy the hell life. is this life day? Is life day is a Star day? Wars. It's a Star Wars holiday. It's kind of like just end of the year sort of holiday. It's just about good things, uh, positive things. The yeah, it's whenever. Yeah. It's all space time rules, you know. Well, how does space time work? Like you go into space and just a different time. Uh, things it's are like different. Island time. You ever been you to know? space and you're like things are different here? You know what? I have no interest. I don't have any interest in travel, really. Even though you I admit you're going to Alabama. Travel. You're going to Alabama. <laughs> You're mid travel. I don't want to tube in you. I don't want to tube in you, but um, do, you say that? do you have a banjo on your knee? <laughs> oh, Martin, do you have a banjo? No answer. No Martin, answer. Do you have a banjo on your knee, Martin? I do yeah. for legal reasons. I cannot show it. It's like a wish. Yeah. Uh, but Robbie, I can confirm, does not have a banjo. Good. Martin, for a second, I thought that your microphone was your knee and you had your knee propped up real cool. I, mm. My other knee on this side is propped up real cool. Sure. Uh, and I've been can, speaking into can it. We, can we look at how much we have on the board right now? Because yeah. we haven't talked about this in a little bit, but Martin and Robbie, the, the reason for this season today is to raise money for Feed in America. It says 21000 we want twenty one thousand. We're at fourteen thousand seventy nine dollars and twenty three cents. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Who's getting all this cash? Feeding well, America. Food. People who are who are hungry and, and are out of money. We've talked yeah, that's about a really good cause. 
Yeah. We talked about four dollar friends in the past. We like it when someone can be a four dollar friend and donate four dollars. But in in honor to commemorate this particular moment, Ben Ratner got there before I did. <laughs> what if we all gave two dollars and sixty nine cents right now? So let's oh, just say let's if you're watching this stream right now and you have yet to donate and you feel bad because you're like this person's donating this amount, it's too much, I can't make an impact. Any amount counts, especially for those who are hungry this holiday season. So if you have it to Rado. spare, plus 269, donate it right, right now. 269. Yes. I mean, yeah. Yes. What's going on, Robbie? Grotto, in addition to giving, will you encourage everybody to follow me on Instagram? It's free. Yeah. Robbie yeah. Hoffman on Instagram. R O B B Y H O F F M N. So four dollar friends. Yeah. Yeah. You can also follow me, and that's yeah. free. So yeah, we have a we have a ticker really now like running at the bottom help. of the screen. Uh, we're gonna there keep that up go. for at least yeah for a while. We're gonna keep that up. Hey, could everybody you follow I mean? my uh, Chris D'Elia parody Snapchat account. <laughs> All right. Can we, what's that? How do we do that? What's that? Uh, You'll find that it. That's cool. Okay. I'll, I'll, mess, and, I'll message you all. And Martin, I don't want to. Martin, I don't want to blow up your spot, Martin. Um, but for those who don't know, there's a there's a um, a sexual joke embedded in the title of your show that you do, uh, which is it's mathematical, but it's also a fun play on words. So even for people who uh, maybe think, oh, I don't want to donate, I, I don't want to. It's very funny to donate that amount because uh, you're, uh, in addition to being requesting uh, an amount of uh, money, mm -hmm. it also is a reference to a sexual position in which two people will um, replicate uh, what the number 69 looks like, where you have, a, you have a rounded base on a six, which is actually the top half of a nine. So if you're imagining mm -hmm. that the, the, the sort of curved line of a six and a nine or in those positions, uh, it's sort of similar to when uh, uh, two people, one of them will turn upside down and, and simultaneously they will uh, pleasure one another orally, sexually. Um, I feel like it works better with gay dudes. It's, uh, here's the order in which it works best. Gay dudes, because you have a hook for your mouth, basically. You put the dick in the mouth. Right. And then the second, that makes sense. after that, after gay dudes, it's straight people because at least they have one dick. Right. But when you're dealing with the two like me, it's right. not great because there's not a lot to latch on to. Do you know what I mean? I mean, some people have an enlarged clitoris, which is helpful. Right. Um, but you know what I mean? There's not a lot. And it's slippery, naturally. I'll well, say this is the first I time I've been hearing it, about 69ing, you know so this is kind of like interesting. But I do oh no, this is exactly what I didn't want. I, I I'm sorry if I've blown up your spot. Spot has been blown, but uh, speaking of blown, I was thinking about it, and I have tried the 69 before, uh, but a more proper 69. I we just like lick each other's shins. <laughs> oh wow, we just had a Garden so State a reference in the last segment. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's Martin, Martin. Martin I, I have to correct you. I think what you're describing is more of a 72. It's a little further down than a 69. Uh, I guess so. Um, I, I, I Like I said, I, this yeah. is my first time hearing about it. The fact that there's yeah. like a dirty reference in my show's title is kind of embarrassing for me. But yeah. hey, hey, I yeah. want 269. Yeah. I'm actually realizing yeah. I, I, it's more of a, like an 89. I think 72, 62, 72 would be like thigh... 69 is genital, so then let's say 89 is shin. I want to say this. We're not getting <laughs> $2.69 donations. Why not? We're, We're not, not getting them? I want more. We, not, we're, we need more. You guys, Story it's the funniest show. way that you can help people. Like, yeah. donating two sixty nine, you get to do two things. You get to be funny in a way that's nasty, like the song Nasty Boys. Remember we were talking yeah. earlier to famous Nasty Boy Josh Gondelman. Uh, you can be a, a quote unquote up. nasty. Honestly, honestly, like yeah. I don't want to blow up his spot, but Josh Gondelman's like one of the most fucked up people I know. Agreed. That's great. May I please be given the opportunity to answer Robbie's question? Go ahead, Huge Mara. penis. Huge penis. Josh Gondelman has a huge penis. Robbie asked what the sixty-two is, and the sixty-two 
is when you kiss each other's mom's pubis. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. But you what stay pubis? clear of the genitals themselves. <laughs> Not what you heard, Martin. Oh, okay. I you think I know mom's Martin. pubis, right? That's what I heard. <laughs> what you kiss said. your mom's pubis? No, Mon's pubis, like, like Mon's calamari. Wait, like, wait, like, like Mon Mothma? Like Mon yes, Mothma? Yes, you kiss Mon Mothma's pubis. <laughs> Let's oh, get that yeah. fan art coming, by the way, as well. <laughs> um, um, Connor, Martin. did I miss your wish? No, you didn't hear Martin's Connor, wish yet. Martin, are we doing wishes? Yeah, yeah what's oh, your can wish? we get a clean read on the word McClunky before you say your life day wish? McClunky. Oh, perfect. That's a clean McClunky. Now, yeah. what is your life day wish, Martin? Well, I was having trouble narrowing it down. Well, we already covered the uh, Chris D'Elia parody Snapchat account, so yeah. I feel yeah. good on that. But, uh, and, and Martin, just to be clear, if, if I'm not uh, available at the time that you're live, is it possible to save those Snapchats and watch them later? Uh, <laughs> not to my knowledge. Not Definitely not to my knowledge. I, I definitely hope not. Okay. Okay. Is it possible okay, so... to watch them on my Roku? Uh, I don't know. Usually the people I message don't even know what a Roku is. I have uh, a yeah. Roku. I, I have a, a Roku. great deal. He actually he told me it was the cheapest smart TV, and then I found that it actually was not. But What's the cheapest? Know, smartest cheap TV. Yeah. Uh, What's the cheapest, so, Robbie? So Martin, what is your what is your wish? Since you already brought up your Snapchat. Um. Well, it was it was going to be that everybody go see me on tour with D.L. Hughley, but our dates were all canceled very recently. Um, He's a super spreader. He's a super spreader, and I want super spreader, spreader of joy and family. laughter. Absolutely, I think uh, a terrific right. spreader. That was one absolutely. of my that was my opening joke. I would say, um, yeah. but I think my my life day wish is officially going to be. I want to host. This is a show I just heard about. I thought it was a parody of mine, but apparently it started decades before. I want to host. Who wants to be a millionaire? Wow, that's going to be my wish. That's a good wish. I think I can do it. Yeah, I think uh, it would be great. Martin, honestly, I find your game is too hard. <laughs> I've gotten that sometimes, especially from and, you, Robbie. And some <laughs> people book off a night to do your some people book off a night to do your show. And to be on the program for six, seven minutes, it just isn't like I'm showering, I'm getting ready, I'm like, you know, putting on a little blush, and it's like all for six, seven minutes, and I didn't even see any kessive or money in the in the in the mail anyway. That's yeah, definitely a complaint that I have gotten from uh, the producers of the show. They say, maybe how about if the guests have fun? But I refuse. I think it's an interesting way to go with the show. Like, you guys do your own thing here. You know, people love yeah. it. Um, I like it when people are mad at me on yeah. my show. Yeah. Um, but, Robbie, Martin, we got to you Are you, are you an old comic, episode. Martin? Martin, are you an alternative comedy person? I think I'm maybe the most mainstream comedian alive. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Is that a riff? Are yeah. you riffing? Uh, I've never heard of it. Don't All know right. what that is. Robbie, <laughs> Robbie, what is your, Robbie, what is your life day wish? Oh, that's crazy! It was I'll also for me to host Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Everybody at Forsaken Network. No. Uh, <laughs> people are watching. They're donating advice Thursdays on Planet Scum. Okay, yeah. the only not. Anti-Semitic, the only not homophobic show on this godforsaken network. And that's why my um, show is kind of like so the Rob yin to Robbie's yang. People to tune into Dykevice <laughs> on Thursdays, and then I'll get into this life wish. Okay. Yeah, everyone I, tune in. Everyone tune in. Can we get any? Can we get a clean McClunky from from you, Robbie? Can we get the clean the clunky from you, Robbie? Sure, what is it? And I'll do it. It's just it's, say it's, it's an elusive word that people say right when they are about to face I death. <laughs> McClunky, no, say McClunky. I don't want to do that. I don't like any type of ginseng stuff. It's like just that. It's I didn't know you could play. say no. It's for feeding America. Just say McClunky for feeding America. No, it's, 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 it's against my religion. I won't do it. Bobby. 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 Please okay, say McClunky. One. No, I'm 
No, what you you it's a death wish. Robbie, Robbie just say I'm the wishing word. you a Hanukkah, a happy Hanukkah. No, well it's not gonna be happy if I'm not here to enjoy it. Robbie, say McClunky, Robbie. You have one Please. minute. No, what? Please. You wouldn't even say to watch Dyke Vice. Now I'm supposed to say your shit? Everyone should watch Dyke Vice. Watch Dyke Vice every week. Everybody watch Dyke Vice. Watch Dyke Vice. It's great. Robbie's very funny. I watch it a lot. I do. Right before, I usually, I'm like getting ready to go to bed and then I get the notification that Dyke Vice is on. I'm like, well, I guess I got to watch Dyke Vice now. And I do. People Wait, call in and I am, you, helping, I am helping people globally who call in with fashion advice. Connor, which nothing's stopping you with financial advice, with sex advice, love advice, lots of Robbie, things. we we have All given you some time. Instagram followers and we can take them away. Please say McClunky. What does McClunky mean? And got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Thank you. Happy life day. Happy life day. I don't get it. I don't. Yeah, so we'll fix it. We'll, we'll pull that in post. We'll right? Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got what we needed. We Sometimes you just, you're losing the light and you got it. Can Wano, we look at the gonna... board? Can okay, we look well, at the board? Because Watto is really hungry. He would like to start eating the monster. What's your number, Watto? 15. We're at 14-4-4-3-2-3 right now. Come All on, right. folks. All right. At, I'm going to bring, 15... mm -hmm. bring in our next guest. All right. Uh, just to find out how they want to be introduced. All right. Hey, DC, uh, you're not on this show yet. It is nice to see you. But uh, everyone can see and hear you. I'm... Everyone can see and hear you. You're live. Okay, great. But technically, you're not on this show yet because okay. you haven't been introduced. So I respect the distinction. I've, I've been on a podcast before. This is the part yeah. where you're just sitting awkwardly drinking your iced coffee while the, the okay. hosts do their little thing. And yeah. then they you ask know you how you want to be introduced, and then that gets cut out later. Well, but, well, uh, it's this all... is what. See, we do things a little differently here because mm -hmm. I'm about to ask you how you want to be introduced, but we're not going to cut it down. <sighs> wow. Okay. Okay. Are you ready this for is, the uh, question? Yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. It's. It's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. That's fine. That's cool. That's. Uh, I just feel weird that people were had you know had my presence just so I'm just here you know I'm you know they have no idea how to contextualize no, me they're like a white guy with a beard and, and headphones on a live stream during the pandemic how do I even put where do I even put this in my brain DC don't you don't know all have good that stuff there. until you're on the show save it oh, okay, for the gotcha. show gotcha okay yeah. great and yeah. and there's nothing to worry about because you're not on the show yet they okay. won't be thinking that this doesn't okay. count it's not canon. Okay. Yeah, I respect that. Okay, I have a, I have a, a, a good understanding of what that means. How can I ask you a question, a personal yes. question? Mm -hmm. How would you like to be introduced? Um, uh, comedian, author, uh, uh, host of the Home Cooking Podcast, Stay for Dinner, um, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, that'd be that that that's that that'd be great. That'd be great. Brave, I, I brave man, brave man from sixteen hundred pen. What did you play? Oh, oh man, what was that character's name? No, the character's name was Casanova. Casanova. Okay. All right, yeah. here we go. Okay, bye, DC. Gro Gros and Gra Gras. Very exciting. We got a great show. We had a great show so far. We got more great guests lined up. So let's keep this thing rolling, right? Our next yeah. guest is a comedian, he's an author. He hosts a home cooking podcast that I already forget the name of because we got hung up on the proper character name that he played in 600 Pen, but we think it was Casanova, the Rave Man, DC Pearson. Hi, everybody. Hi, George Watto. Hello, Hello Patrick. Patrick. How are you? Thank you for having me. Happy Life Day, everybody. Happy, Happy Life, Life Day. day. How is your life day going so far, DC? Um, my life day is just great. We, um, you know, we've just been celebrating with some old Kashyyyk, uh, you know, carols, and we have Grandpa plugged into the horny VR uh, apparatus, yeah. and it's it's you know it's everything you would want it to be. We just we have found, especially during this time, just a lot of, you know, just like a centering quality in the traditional sort of life day you know yeah. the things that in a normal year we would laugh at it's like oh life day you know uh but this year we're really finding a lot of, of of value in that that's great george we haven't gotten into this 
how long do you think they have been celebrating Life Day on Kashyyyk? Long time. Would you like how long though? Give me a number of years. Uh thousands of years. So like more than like 2020 years, George? Yeah. Talking BC with DC. Oh, I'm right. sorry. I, I just I, 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 have a, I have a quick question. Something's been bugging me, and you might be mm-hmm. able to help. Me. Do you know who directed the most recent uh, Star Is Born remake? Bradley Cooper, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, BC. <laughs> yeah. Talking BC with DC. We're not going to sit through this. That was very helpful. That was very helpful. Thank you very much for the end. I'm not sure that we fully, if we, this can be considered part of the segment if we don't see the full, complete explosion debris. Talking BC with DC. I mean, right. yes. talk yes. about industrial light and magic, George. Mm-hmm. I think that the, fo- the, the the folks at Skywalker Ranch did such an amazing job with that uh, that bumper graphic. Yeah. Just thanks to everybody, and I know that they've been working really hard, and it's the holidays, but yeah. it doesn't it does not go now, unappreciated. Do you see? I'm struggling. Yeah. Like I'm trying to think. Like you were frustrated because we didn't see the end of that, right? So yeah. what what you were really kind of advocating for, one could say, was bumper completion. <laughs> you could say that. Yeah, I guess you could, Wado. That's a that's a good I don't understand oh, no. why that's an important distinction in this in Talking BC with DC. Now, uh, DC, uh, a, a few years, I guess it was about five, uh, how many years ago um, did you play the role of Bobby D on the show Battle Creek? Um, that sounds about right, about like five-ish years ago. Uh, oh, BC? Uh, the show Battle Creek. Battle Creek, or is it known? Talking BC with DC. All right, guys, I think we've had a lot of fun showing the bumper. Again, but I feel like it's cresting over into a point where I can just like the frustration that I feel at it playing and playing just for the sake of it is like barely contained right now. Uh, I feel. Oh, well, let's talk about Talkin that. Talking BC with DC. DC, you know, guys, I'm sorry for my outburst before. I'm really sorry that I had that outburst before we we played the bumper again. I just took a second and just like on life day, you're supposed to really feel a lot of gratitude. I realized, you know what? I'm 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 inside. I'm warm rather than outside where it's just like bracingly cold right now. Talking BC with DC.
DC, you Look, for a long time you were like a like a New York comedy guy, right? Yeah, I would I would say probably about like six six or so six seven years. Yeah, that's. I mean, I'm going through your IMDb, and there's mm -hmm. there's like one like New York comedy, you know, uh, uh, thing that is missing from it. Do you know Abby and Alana? Uh, I do. Yeah, they were great. They were kind of uh, right around the same time. We were all at UCB at the same time, and uh, oh, but you didn't so it was great to see the success that they had with uh, with their show. You didn't get the call to be on Broad City. Uh, oh, sorry, I never sorry, did. I think. Sorry, sorry. The fans call it BC. Talking BC with DC. Patrick! What, Watto? Enough is enough. First of all, this bit officially stopped being funny one time ago. Anyone else would have recognized one time ago was the time to drop it. Secondly, for you to not only shoehorn in another beat, but do it in the guise of shaming DC about a show he didn't book is rude. It is rude. He is our guest. He's gifting us with his it time. Is, for it, is, it is rude. It is rude. It is beyond crude. Talking BC with DC. Guys, let's just, you know what, let's just, right, coming back in from it, let's just clear the slate completely. Let's talk about right. some favorite yeah. Life Day gifts yeah. that we've gotten. I recently unwrapped sure. a um, a big compendium of just like a bunch of, uh, oh, no. you know, cartoons, oh, no. just like Sunday morning cartoons. Yeah. Uh, you know, just a lot of great ones in there. Um, yeah. Hagrid the Horrible, yeah. um, uh, Dagwood and Blondie, Wizard of Id for sure. Um, Doonesbury, of course, gotta have, gotta have Tumbleweed Doonesbury. Muscle. Tumbleweeds, uh huh. Um, yeah, zits, turtle. Zits is yeah, in there, yeah, a little more contemporary, yeah. but Zits is is, yeah, is represented. That was in the big compendium, though. Mm -hmm. Calvin and Hobbes, of course. Mm -hmm. That's a yeah. good. That's a good group. Uh, anyways, DC, um, <laughs> do, you a, do you have a life day wish? I and do have a. Can, a can we get a clean read on the word McClunky before you say your wish? Oh sure. Um, do you guys want it sort of in the Greedo kind of thing or just Are you like it? It whatever own. you're feeling? Okay. Make it your own. Um, McClunky. Perfect. And, and that. now can I ask you a question, DC? I've had a question mm -hmm. I want to ask you and we got waylaid by this, uh, this bit. But there is something I'd like to know while we have you here. What's that one? What would you say is the Western Mons province in Canada? I'm sorry, like Wada, which, you were lagging a little. I missed the end of the question here. Uh, what, what is the westernmost province in Canada? I, I think it's located between the Pacific Ocean and the Rocky Mountains. What is the, the thing that's located between the Pacific Ocean and the Rocky Mountains? In Canada, it's the, the westernmost West province. Oh, in so if you, if you uh, don't know the answer, you could just try listing off some of the provinces in Canada until you find the sure, right. Sure, sure, sure. Let's see. We've got Ottawa, uh, Quebec is one. I don't think that's it though. No. Ontario is West. that a province? West a kind of North. not super conversant. I mean, that that would be where Vancouver is. But we're talking all the way west and. Canada's part of a Commonwealth originally, so I guess it's like it's British. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. British Columbia. Talking BC with DC.
having seen I the bumper now so many times, time. what's that? No, I think we're out of time. Uh, what were you going to say? Oh, nothing. Uh, that that it just I I I like in the bumper that like a pizza or like a manhole cover flies at you at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I can't decide. decide uh, what and that I is. Think, can we, we, we do your life day wish real quick? Oh yeah, life. Oh day yeah. Wish. George, um, my life day wish was just, I, I'm a huge fan of yours, obviously. One of my favorite little Star Wars making of factoids is that uh, the name that Return of the Jedi went under when it was filming in the in the desert out in Yuma, Arizona, the code name was Blue Harvest, Horror Beyond Imagination. And I would just love to know, while I have you here, my wish would just be to know, what were the other code names that you filmed the other Star Wars movies under? Because I've never... Uh, I've, I've, I've never seen that written anywhere. It's never been talked about as, as far as I can tell. Let's and start I know this one answer, one. so I'm going to go to the bathroom while he answers it. Hi, Wada. Uh, episode That's one, uh, who's got the discs? Episode Daddy's home. Episode three. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I was going by four, five, six. Sorry, the first first one was uh, Gahosta with a Mosta. <laughs> episode two. Uh, c 3 was droid, droid Factory Adventure. Episode three. It's good to throw people off the scent that it's not a Star Vol Wars volcano, thing. Volcano, volcano friend fight. <laughs> Episode four. Who's got the discs? Episode five. Daddy's home. Ewok Adventure one. Uh, family in trouble. Episode, Ewok Adventure two. They're dead now. Okay. DC, thank wow. you so much. Thank you so much. Out. Happy life, um, George. Um, uh, next time, uh, Bryson, make a note. I, I, I didn't get a chance to ask you about uh, your appearance on Comedy Bang Bang, so get a bumper ready for that, Bryson. Great. I want to talk. I want to talk some CBB with you. Mm -hmm. That is a uh, Bryson uh, completion. Will be what that's called when it's. Uh, that's when right. It's we done. need a Bryson completion. Talking BC with DC. When am now, I supposed George, to eat this thing? Are we full? Uh, yeah, we're there. We are there. I need to set a stretch goal for when we're, I'm going to do holiday lights and when I'm going to double it. Okay. Well, let's bring in our next guest and we'll find out how he wants to be introduced. All right. Randy, it's so good to see you. Hello, Hello Patrick. Hello, George. Hello. Now, Randy, what is not... going? 10-1? Uh, 10-2, uh, I think. 10-2, ten two, yeah. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Randy, I want to be clear. Oh, good. Watto's back. We'll let Watto handle this then. Hey, Watto. Hello, ten one or ten two? Uh, Tim one or Tim two? Yeah. Ten one or ten two? I uh, Tim one or Tim two? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what were you doing in the bathroom? Oh, I was taking a Tim two. <laughs> Great. Watto, we haven't introduced our guest yet. Do you want to tell him how we're doing that? Of course we haven't. I wasn't here. I was Tim doing it. It was Tim the tall man two times. <laughs> Randy, this is not uh, the show. I'm sorry? You haven't been introduced yet, so this isn't the show. It doesn't count. <clears throat> right. Doesn't yeah, count. no, I understand. <clears throat> so um, I would yeah, I love to know. Every, everyone's love commenting to... about me being on the show, but I'm yeah. not on the show yet. No, so. it's not yeah. and I, Let's, I, let's I hold to... off. Yeah. Let everybody take a breath. <sighs> now, Randy, I hope I'm not being too forward when I say this. I would love to have you on this show. I'd love to be on the show, Wado. So let's do this. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. All I need to get started is a suggestion of how you would like to be introduced. Um... I think uh, <clears throat> talk about my accomplishments, uh, um, how excited you are to have me, mm -hmm. um, um, some descriptors about my physical attractiveness, mm -hmm. um, uh, how I'm a good person. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, not only am I talented, but, uh, you know, I'm also yada, yada, yada. Yeah. 
um, uh, I think it's talking about my humility as sure. well. Sure. Sure. Um, uh, and um, you know, just how honored you are to uh, to have me here. Okay. A man okay. of my stature. Okay. Gotcha. All right, we'll yep. pull you up. <clears throat> Folks, I would love to list this man's accomplishments. Love to talk about his decency, his character. I'd love to talk about how honored I am for him to be. But frankly, we don't have the time. Mm -mm. Grogu's and Gragras, Randy Hayes. Oh wow! Thank you so much. Thanks for thanks for thanks for that wonderful wonderful intro. It's great. Thank you. For you coming. understand? We're on the schedule. We're on a schedule. Yeah. Oh yeah. We gotta move. Gotta gotta move. Yeah. yeah. How is your life day going, Randy? Life day is going great. Um, uh, it's Sunday here on Earth. I don't know where what day it is where Watto is. Um, uh, I mean, I, uh, yeah, Central Parkway. Oh wow! You moved to Earth. When did when did you move to Earth? After Phantom, I, you know. I just, I mean, you get an agent, you get a manager. <laughs> yeah. You got yeah, out of the I, slave trade business. U UTA fam. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Uh, yeah, life days. Life days going great. You know, uh, there's some football on on television. Uh, uh, I'm here mm -hmm. with the great. George Lucas, mm -hmm. George, so good to see you. Uh, Mount, oh my goodness, we're almost up to. Is this right? We're almost up to twenty thousand. That's like the right. big goal, right? We're at yeah. fourteen six five two. And at wow. fifteen thousand, Watto gets to start eating a sandwich. It is going to take several hours to finish. Well, now I mean, that, that happens, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to open up this Kinder Surprise. Kinder Joy. Yeah, this is exciting. I'm glad you're here for this because I think we could maybe. Start. I think we could hit fifteen thousand while Randy's here. I would love nothing more. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry, and I will regret this. It will be a real monkey paw situation. But I would love Randy to see the sandwich and see how daunting this sandwich is going to be. Is it, is it a big one? It's a big one. It's a big one. Wow. Randy, they they call it the monster. <laughs> Whoa! Have you ever eaten a? Have you ever had a monster in your mouth before? No, and I've tried many times. I've tried. And I've never had the play or the privilege. Same. Same, honestly. Um, so I think if people want to see this sandwich, um, you got to donate. I think it's uh, more importantly, if people want Randy to see this sandwich, yeah. the clock is ticking. Yeah, the yeah, clock. Yeah, <laughs> we're hundreds, only mere hundreds of dollars away from Randy being able to get a get a good look at this monster that Watt is about to put into his mouth. <laughs> yeah, can we? Um... Can we get this going? Yeah, what do we what do we need to do? What what do we have to do to get this to get these people to great donate people? Question. It's a great question. Show uh, Sandy to Randy. That's what Randy want wants the Sandy. Do. Randy wants to see we the Sandy. Show us Sandy to Randy. Show show him the Sandy because I think that, that will up the that will up the uh uh incentive to donate. What are we at right now? We are at 1465247. At 14750. I show the Sandy to Randy at fifteen. Okay. That's, that's a hundred dollars. That's a hundred dollars. Less than a hundred dollars. Less than a hundred, and Randy be seeing the Sandy. I'm gonna go get it so it's ready. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. ready the Sandy for Randy. Yeah. Randy, uh, where are are you in LA? Or are you in Atlanta? What are you? I'm in you? Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. How is that going? Atlanta. Uh, it's great. It's great. Um. They don't have COVID here, so um, a lot That's of people good. walking around without masks. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Oh wow. Uh, have you have you worked at all during this? Have you been on a set? I have worked. Yes, I have. How was how was that experience? It's weird because like when uh, you know I I can't see anyone's face. Yeah. <laughs> like actors are the only ones without masks, obviously. So um, yeah, you know, someone will come up and start talking to me, and I'm just like. Okay, I can see now your eyes. I know who you are. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah, it's a strange, it's a strange experience. Um. But you know, it's it's great to be back at work. But uh, it is um, 
a little a little weird and um it's not the same uh <laughs> you can't like really talk to the other actors either like well i mean you can kind of but like we're like s sectioned off almost in these little plexiglass cages yeah um and we just have to like sit in our sit in these little like plexiglass cages um uh where, that's where our cast chairs are like and so like every actor is sort of like separated from each other and it's like you guys know we just did a scene together but the rules so, yeah, are you know you can't know. like you have to like stay separate in between like scenes and it's just like okay well has it affected your acting has it affected the work no i'm not very good anyway so um uh it's you know um uh doesn't, has, doesn't, doesn't change that yeah hey wado can you do me a favor yeah can you show randy to sandy I'm sorry, that's a sandwich? That looks like yeah. an edible arrangement. It really does <laughs> look like a gift basket. Wano, should you unwrap it? That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, okay, We're good. getting it ready where it's in $250. See, it should have been like another 100 and Wano unwraps it. We are less than $70 away from Wano starting that sandwich, and I think I think people need to step up. Okay, so we... We've removed the outmost layer. Oh my of god! Oh my god! <laughs> what are you gonna eat that whole sandwich? It's life day, Davy. You gonna eat that whole thing? I haven't eaten anything all day. I'm starving. You should. It's the intent. It's you really the intent. I'm. Yeah, you really should have primed the pump, though. You really should have like eaten a whole lot yesterday because this is gonna be a. <laughs> what? Um, Tom Sharpling's asking how much for you to drop it out your window again. Hey, here's the thing. I genuinely <laughs> don't think I could. Watto, $5,000? No, I, the minimum is is got to be $30,000. <laughs> Correct. $30,000 to get Watto to drop it on uh, someone. And then, um, and then another $30,000 to pay for his bail when it kills someone. <laughs> That's the really, point. That's, that's why I don't effort. even want to put this on the table. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, Wado, I'll say this. <laughs> but but let's give credit. That's a very funny idea. Thank you, Tom, for the very funny idea. Thank yeah. you. Um, Wado, I'll say this. You should start eating. What? We're at, we're at $15,102 right now. Wow. Pretty good. Oh my God, Wado. What is the what in what situation do you eat this sandwich? Like in normal life day. Life? In, in this life right. day. And that means I can also open up my Kendra Joy. Yes, go yes. ahead. Now I want to make it clear. The monster is known as New York's biggest sandwich. Yeah. Okay. Wow. It's made by Sarge's deli. That is their their claim to fame is the biggest sandwich. I have a shirt that says I ate the monster, but I'm not allowed to wear it until, until I finish the sandwich. I have it here. Whole, okay, well, I have every I have it here. Um, it comes with the order. You get this sandwich. Now, while oh. is chowing down, Randy, what is your life day wish? And before you say it, can we get a clean read on the word McClunky? McClunky. Great. Perfect. Do you, you want to do it? You, you want to give me a redirect on that or uh, faster and more intense? McConkey. Great. There you go. Perfect. So the, uh, um, uh, I'll, I'll do my life joy wish in, 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 in uno momento, but, um, this is an American, this is the American kinder joy. Yeah. 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 This is the toys on one side and the chocolates right. in the other. Yeah. Right. Do you know why? Or anything? It's not inside the chocolate. No. There's a law. There are American laws against putting a non-edible item inside, inside an edible item. Right. They don't want children to eat toys. Yeah. You know why? Do you know why they right. don't want children to eat toys? Because they hate fun. Because they're yeah. fashion. Yeah. I guess um, European kids know enough not to eat the toy. Yeah. I, I need I to wish... go close my fridge because I hear it beeping. Okay. 
All right. Well, I'll be back in a moment. Leave it. Just let's hear this. Let's hear your wish because we're coming almost to the end of our time. We have yeah. about a minute left. Yeah, this is this is very sad. Uh, very sad time. Um, uh, my life day wish is for everything to go back to normal. It's a good wish. It's a good I know wish. it's not. It's not a fun wish. No, but it's a good one. But uh, yeah. But normally, oh, there's a lot of terrible things. What a waste of a wish. What did you say, George? Sorry. Normal includes a lot of terrible things. It's not like 2019 was so terrific. You had a you could have wished for anything. Yeah, I want. Oh, oh Randy, you, you want, want normal. normal. You want status quo. You just want normal status quo. Yeah, I, I would. I would say. I would say pre 2016. <laughs> See, much better. See, even just the slightest fix on that wish makes it. That's the problem with wishes, man. Mm -hmm. You really got to think them out. Yeah. You get tricked. You, you you get really tricked. George, have you ever written a script with a genie in it? Mm, a gene genie. Uh, David Bowie in Labyrinth. <laughs> I didn't write the script. I was produced so. But you, I, I mean, you had it. Come on, you had a couple. You had a couple fingers in that pie. I mean, well, I, had I, a couple, I had a couple of sweet naps on the set of that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Wado, you got to take a bite of that before Randy goes. Okay. Oh, boy. How are we going to do it? Okay. Yeah, how do you start? I should not be eating this. I'm famously diabetic. <laughs> I thought it was just like two little pieces of chocolate, but it comes with like a tiny spoon. There's a whole yeah. thing. It's a whole production. Is that is that a is the spoon a? Oh, <laughs> what kind of what? meat is that, Watto? Is that a roast beef? Every kind of meat. It's every roast kind. You got roast beef. beef you got ham. Turkey, you got turkey. Pastrami, corned beef. Wow. Right, here we go. <laughs> wow. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's just a slice of the sandwich. Oh. Yeah, it's one half. Oh, that's what that's a that's a whole half. Yeah. Randy, you're the best. You Randy. guys are, are the best. Uh glad I was here to see the first bite of the sandwich. This is um, what a, what an a amazing experience. Moment. Uh thank you so much for having me, guys. Mm. We'll see you soon. Happy life day. Happy life Happy day, life Randy. Day. Happy life day. I'm gonna All try right, to now, this toy. Wado, I'm gonna bring in a special guest. I believe the special guest is here in the stream with audio only. Is that correct? Yes. Now, who, who is this? Hello, it's me, Old Saint Life Day. Oh my goodness, Old Saint Life Day. Yeah, Saint Life Day. Hello. Wow, it's so good to see you, Old Saint Life Day. I just wanted to stop in and check in on all of you. How are you doing? Well, Old Saint Life Day, we have to introduce you. You have to introduce me. So yes, you're not on the show yet. When I said hello, it's me, Old Saint Life Day. Yeah, but you have to be introduced, okay? Girl Grooves and Gagas, please welcome to the show, Old Saint Life Day. Hello, Old Saint Life Day. Hello, hello Old Saint Life Day. Hello, it's me, Old Saint Life Day. Oh, so nice to see wow. you. Wow. Wow. Um. Old Saint Life Day, it's I'm so glad that you're here. How is your life day going? My life day is going pretty well. Uh, how how is yours, Patrick? It's going, it's going uh, you're, on, you're on my list. Uh, which one? Uh, Old Saint Life Day has more than two uh, more than two lists. Well, that's why I'm asking. I know I know your whole deal, Old Saint Life Day. That's why I'm asking which list I'm on. I'm a man of many lists. Oh, got so you're, many not, lists. you're not you're not going to tell me. You're on my list of top 10 podcasts of the year 2020. No, no but they are not the podcast. I have bad news. This is not a podcast, Old St. Life Day. No, no, You, Patrick, are. Me? Yes. Whoa. Wow. It's obviously not a podcast. I know that. Wow. You, Patrick Cotner, are on my list of best podcasts of 2020. Now, Old Saint Life Day, this is crazy because I didn't know, I didn't even know you knew who I was. I know everyone. Hey, did you guys notice my beard? It's great. Yeah, it looks great. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a great beard, Old Saint Life Day. 
Thank you, Patrick. Yours is pretty good, too. We Thank have you. a lot of good beards on this chat. Yeah. Watto, do you grow a beard? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I'm more of a perpetual stubble guy. Ah. That's a pretty big sandwich. It is. It's called The Monster. It's New York's biggest sandwich. Old St. Life Day, do you, would you mind if I excuse myself from the stream for a second? I think I want to toast this quickly. Okay, okay. well, only Watto, before you leave, it's time for some one of our stretch goals, Old St. Life Day. Hey, it's a Julie Jamboree! What's the stretch goal? Old St. Life Julie. Day. Hello! This Hello! Julie, I, I have to go toast my sandwich, Julie. Will you keep Old St. Life Day company? I will, Watto. Thank you. Water. Can I ask you just some logistical questions about what you're going to do to toast the sandwich? <laughs> yes, great. Yes, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to toast it sideways. But you're going to put the whole thing in the... in. in are you going to go full-sized oven? I'm going to go toaster oven, and I'm going to put it like uh, this so it fits in. Okay, go do that, Wada, and let us know how it goes. You're very uh, ingenious. Old St. Life Day, this is my mother. Hello, I knew that. You're yeah, on one of my lists. Which list is she on? Oh, which list? Best Mothers of 2020. Wow. <laughs> Everyone, Old St. Life Day, raise the roof with us. <laughs> That's great. Wow. Thank you, Old St. Life Day. Made by day. You're welcome. Old St. Life Day, how much of your time is devoted to making lists? 24 <laughs> 7. Thank you for asking, George. Wow. That's uh that's tough, old St. Life Day. The first list uh... I ever made was a to-do list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it said make the list. Right. And I haven't gotten through it yet. Well, wow. no. as my buddy Steve, uh, when as they said in one of his movies, the list is life. Steven Spielberg. Yeah, George, why don't you tell old St. Life Day which movie that was? <laughs> It's the listiest movie of them all, Schindler's List. Oh, yes. One of my favorites. It's a great movie. Old St. Life Day, do you have a Life Day wish? I do. Let's hear it. Uh, my Life Day wish is for everyone out there to have one of the best Life Days of 2020. <laughs> Wait, Old St. Life Day? How many Life Days do you celebrate every year? Every day is Life Day for Old Saint Life Day. It's oh, true. That sounds like a hell. How yeah, did you it fucks out the, the magic of it? Oh, okay. Uh, now, Julie, do you have a Life Day wish? I do. I want everybody to be healthy in 2021 and to be able to gather together and uh, celebrate Life Day the way it should be celebrated. Julie, be careful. Are, are, you don't want everybody to be healthy in 2021, do you? Surely there must be a few people that you will take Let's off that out. list. Who do you not want to be healthy in 2021, Julie? You don't, have to, you don't have to name names, but just say, like, is there anyone that you're like, if someone was like, we could do it, but we'd have to knock five people off, would you be able to make that list? We can make everybody I, I, healthy except for five. Maybe the Gormagon killer from season three of Bones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this seems like an, what an excellent start to the list. Yes, yes. surely Thank the Gormagon killer from season which season five of Bones three. Uh, three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, surely we can we can make an exception. We can get a waiver on that on that wish <laughs> so that he's not healthy in twenty twenty one because I, I have not watched. I confess I haven't watched season three. I'm still on season two of Bones. Well, you've got uh, to watch it, Connor. It's on my list of one. I don't of the know who that is, but I'm really just. Were I'm you talking to me? Were you talking to me or my mother? Did Cotner. you say Connor? Connor? Yeah. Connor. Connor. Okay. Great. Great. Um, wow. Old Saint Life Day. You're. You're. Oh, you better watch out, Old Saint Life Day. Julie. I think my beard. My beard impeded my pronunciation. <laughs> Julie, <laughs> uh, um, would you be? Uh, would you be willing to fill out a waiver? The first of five p potential waivers for the Gormagon killer in season three of Bones that he not be restored to full health, presuming he already is uh, uh, not in good health. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't wish him back to health. Would you be willing to sign off on that waiver? I'll sign off on that one. Great. Okay. We have four waivers left. 
He's an old man. He's not in good health already. So really, you're just wishing to maintain the status quo for him. Yeah, you're not hurting the Gormagon killer. You're just not going to give him a miracle cure. I don't think that's bad. (laughs) Yeah, no miracle cures. No. All right. Um, Old Saint Life Day. Yes. What's your deal, man? (laughs) Well, what could you ever mean, Patrick? What's your deal? Well, I'm I'm Old Saint Life Day, and I make my list, and I deliver them to everyone around the world. Uh huh. Old Saint Life Day. Old Saint Life Day. I opened a Kinder Joy Star Wars toy, and it has instructions, and it has multiple pieces. Oh no! And I. I've never been less happy that I am trying to put together this toy. Mm-hmm. It makes well, no I'm sorry sense. To hear that, George. Have you ever tried one of these? I have. I test every product. It, do you understand these instructions? Yes. So wow. it looks to me like you accidentally got a airline safety card. Are those the mask, the mask on the child first, George? <laughs> Grogu? <laughs> Always. Normally it's supposed to be us, but Grogu goes first. All right. Um, okay, but you're not going to like this. Uh oh. Hey, Old Thing Life Day, can I show you a scary picture really quick? Please. Wow! Ah, no! It's the Gormagon Killer! Ah. Um, oh no, not that mask! No, wrong mask, George. Wrong mask. Oh, this was no. your wish. This was your wish, Julie, to put the mask on the child first. You wrong did mask. this, Julie. You did this. You did this. Wow, that really was sort of a monkey's paw wish. <laughs> oh no. George, uh, you have other masks there. I know in Marin County there are other masks. Pick a different yeah. one, not a stormtrooper. This is a mess. This is a mess. Patrick, um, who does he have there? Who can we suggest? I don't know. I've never <laughs> been. I've never gotten the invite to the ranch. I don't know. George, is there no mask mandate on the ranch? Ah! <laughs> oh, no, George. What is that? George, that looks just like friend of the show, Connor Ratliff. Hello. Oh, no, George. Wow. Uh, <laughs> geez. We, oh, wait, we need clean McClunkies from you guys. Julie, can we get one? McClunky. Old, old St. Life Day? McClunky. Wait, one more time. George was moving stuff. George, we're trying to get it clean. Mick Lunky. No, that's not how you say it, old thing like that. That's perfect. Mick Lunky. <laughs> I think my it's my beard is hindering how you're hearing right. what I'm saying. You you that's managed good. to turn it into kind of it almost sounds like a slur. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is on my list of top ten slurs of twenty twenty. What else is on time we've discussed the list of slurs on this show? Old St. Life Day, let's see the other ten, the other nine. Oh, or no. actually, Old St. Life Day, did I make any of your lists? Julian and Patrick both made your list. Did I make any any of your you lists did, for this George. year? Of course you did. You're on many of my lists. Oh, wow. We only made one. No, you're each on many. Okay, let's hear which one George is on. George, you're on the list. Of my favorite people. <laughs> Pretty good. Wow. Old Saint Life Day. Pretty good. <laughs> I like how I, I do like how, and I think this is just this is me just <laughs> interpreting off your turn of phrase that I accidentally made it onto what sounds like a great list because you couldn't think of a funnier list. I'm not a lot of this, but it has that feeling. I recognize that feeling where you're going for something and then you're like, I'll just say something basic. <laughs> no, Old Saint Life Day is very meticulous with his list. I know. I'm saying I appreciate. I find that a very relatable moment. You're you're oh. not doing. You're like, no. I'm just going to say something basic. I think you're misinterpreting what happened. I'm, I'm sure I am. In advance. What list am I on? Oh, Watto, 
You're on the list of nicest slaver. Oh. And, and that place. Wait, but How he is that said, list. He said slaver, like singular. So that Watto's the only one on that list. Watto's the only one. They're Ooh. scum. Wow. Watto is nice now. Oh. Ooh. All right. Old Saint Life Day, Julie. Thank you guys so much for coming on. Happy You're Life welcome. Day. Happy Life Happy Day. Happy Life Day. Happy Life Day. Ho, ho, ho. Wait, you say that too? Huh? You say that too? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, okay. That sounds better. <laughs> I love that Old Saint Life Day says both ho, ho, ho and ha, ha, ha. Man, that, that Old Saint Life Day, he always makes it up. Yeah. I uh, always I, making. I kind of hope that Old Saint Life Day will come back at the end of this. I would love it. I would love it. Um, It'd be a real Life Day miracle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we have a second. Right now, we are at fifteen thousand three hundred seventy-seven dollars and ninety-six cents. Okay, I want to set a goal for when I do uh, a Christmas uh, Life Day lights and then double it. Well, I want to say this, George, because we're less than a thousand dollars away from your Life Day wish. Okay, so let's set the lights for after the Life Day Wish, um, like a 500 after that or something. Okay, okay, I'll do that. Um, uh, we, I saw a guest in there, and then I lost them. So let's... Uh, they should be back in a second, but... Um, um, how are you guys feeling so far? Unbelievable. I'm so excited yeah. to eat. Having a good life day. I just, oh, George is gone. George is back. I just realized I did not eat lunch yet, so I think I'll probably just wait till dinner at this point. Just order a quick monster. Order no, a quick monster. Order. Where did you, well, let's, hang on. Let's bring in a, our first guest. Uh, our first guest? Our yes, first guest, first last I checked, we're up to 34. <laughs> okay. Here's number 35. Will, Watto, explain to Will what's going on, Watto. Hi, Will. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too, Watto. I Hello. want to make something very clear. You are not on this show yet. All right. This is live. Everyone can see and hear you, but you haven't been introduced yet, so this doesn't count. It's not canon. Now I can say anything then. All right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And until I introduce you, at which point we're on rails, baby. <laughs> so anything you want to get out of your system before you're on the show, do it now. New girls overrated. Wow. Okay. How do you want to be introduced, Will? <laughs> How do I want to be introduced? Yeah. Writer for new girl. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Folks, Gorgus and Grogras, I'm very excited about this next guest. You know him probably best as a writer on the probably. very highly rated New Girl. Probably best. Probably best. Probably best. Probably best. The appropriately rated New Girl, Will Miles. There he is. Hey, everybody. That's number 35. Thank you. Happy, happy Life Day, Will. Happy Life Day. Be life day, Will. Are you outdoors? Are those trees, or is that interesting wallpaper? No, I'm outdoors. It's uh, it's pretty nice out. All right, you you're on the you're you on the west coast with me. Can you spin the camera, Will? Yeah, like this. Oh, we so we can see my yard and everything. Yeah, we want to see your yard. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. Baby. Ooh, uh, can like you point out? Show us some sky. Show them some of that blue sky. Go right up. Blue skies smiling at me. Wow. Wado, oh, I'm gonna bring a you got a brawly, that umbrella? A little umbrella, you know. Hang on, guys. Sure. I'm gonna, I'm like gonna bring in, I'm gonna bring in another guest okay. to be introduced. Hello. Okay. Hey Jenny, how's it going? How's critics? It's, Hi, Jenny. Re it's really good. Happy life day, guys. Oh, thank you. But you <laughs> might want to hold your well wishes. Oh no, what's going on? Well, you're just not on the show yet. They will be falling upon deaf ears, those wishes. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. We're live, and everyone can see and hear you, but you're not on the show yet because you haven't been introduced. Oh, fuck. 
I'm messing everything up right now. <laughs> no, no you're not. My Everything's fault. happening very, very exactly as it should be. Great, good. You've done everything right. I just haven't introduced you yet. Great. How would you like to be introduced? Um, with my name would be good. Thank you so much, Watto. Okay. Okay, bye. Very excited about this next guest coming to the show, Jenny Jaffe. Yay. Hi, guys. Happy Life Day. Happy Life Day, Happy Life Day. Day. Happy life Day. Day. Thank you for those wages. Uh, it's, I, sorry, I was having camera problems. It's the whole, okay. the whole thing. It's okay. We're here now. We're all doing great. Um, I'm seeing a lot of comments asking to see my dog. Dr. Beef yeah. is the dog, I yeah. assume. Dr. I want to see Dr. Beef. Would yeah. you like to see Dr. Beef? Let's see the dog. Let Beef. me get Dr. Beef. Uh, uh, he'll yeah. be coming over just uh, presently. I hear. Um, Dr. Dr. Beef for Dr. Dr. Beef for sure. Um, he'll, he'll help us get our. Uh, this our is Dr. Dr. Beef. Oh, there he is. Hello, Dr. Oh, my goodness. The doctor is in. Hi, guys. This is Dr. Dr. Beef. Oh, man. Make it house calls. It's his first Beef time house. Today. Beef Dr. house. Dr. Beef. Look at us, Dr. Dr. Beef. Beef. Guys, hey, look up. Look Dr. Up. Beef. There we go. Dr. Beef. Dr. Beef, guest Dr. number two. Beef. Yeah. And we are <laughs> counting, and Patrick, we are counting all the animals as guests, yes? We, yeah, oh, we great. Are. All right, good to know. I mean, he gets his own IMDb page. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, sure, I'll make him an IMDb page. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, good. Um, so now we got oh, I mean, no. the model dog. This dog <laughs> yeah. can have a career, I think. Now, now what are we talking about here? This is Mrs. Roper. Mrs. Oh my Roper. god! <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh, Mrs. Roper, what a hunk! I thirty-eight love dogs with titles. That's like one of my favorite things. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you got Doctor Beef, right? I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. He's got wow, a PhD great. in music. Um, can we <laughs> go ahead? We're going to be announcing uh, ten Star Wars shows uh, uh, today. Can we go ahead and announce? Uh, Dr. Beef and Mrs. Roper as a Star Wars show that's going Absolutely. to be yeah. yeah. Right, that's a great For one. Sure. Yeah. How are you guys how are you guys celebrating life day? Living, man. <sighs> I'm Dan. Dan. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I watched good. uh I watched uh the funniest videos. I've been watching all those to celebrate life. The America's funny funniest videos. Oh. I thought you just meant. The funniest, period. Oh, no, no, no not, not my curation. Period. The curation of uh, of Alfonso Ribeiro. <laughs> I watch some very somber videos just because I feel like, you know, life, you take the good, you take the bad, you take them both. You got life day. You got life well, day. Those are the facts of life you're listing. Yes, they are the facts. Those right. are the facts of life day. So let's facts ask this. Will, what is the funniest video you've ever seen? Yeah. Ooh, that's good. Um... Wow, can I? Can you come back to me? Okay, Jenny, yeah. what is the most somber video you've ever seen? <laughs> Probably the Jonestown death tape. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a good hard. answer. That's yeah, a good, that's a good really? answer. Oh, you know what? You know what? Coney twenty twelve was up there. Yeah. That's right. so what about the video of the guy from Coney twenty twelve? Remember that? Oh yeah, he immediately went streaking or something, right? I, I, yeah, I in public. Yeah. I think he had a little uh, tough time afterwards. And uh, what about Comey 2020s during Jeff Daniels? Oh. Parts one and two. It? You didn't see it? I saw it. Did anyone else see it? It was pretty I somber. I it like a book. Um. By the way, there is another dog here. If you guys want. Benny, is let's see one. Are you hey, holding on? Yeah, this is spoof. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hey, bud. Oh, come somebody here. mentioned the funniest video is the grape stomping reporter. I'd have to. That's yeah. close. Very oh my close. gosh, spoof. What up, spoof? What up, spoof? Ooh. This is an Ewok looking dog. <laughs> the spoof uh, right? Is that a thing? Yeah. Oh, is, okay. is this dog like a funny riff on the more serious earnest dog? He is actually, yeah. <laughs> He's a parody of um, other dogs who make more sense. This dog. Yeah. Is like a, he's just a pile of laundry. Yeah, sure. Right. Mm -hmm. This yeah. dog doesn't really uh, care about internal logic. It's all just right. about the joke count. Yeah. This dog was made by um, not Bob Odenkirk, but Steve Odekirk, who made all mm. the fun movies. That's sure. a yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, wow. Well, he's a hunk again. I'm saying it again. Guys, I'm right now we are at $15,392.96. Yes. How do, oh, we make, how do we make some more money? That's so close to your, uh, that's so close to 20,000. I feel like if people just found more room in their hearts yeah, or something. Yeah. And we want to be clear. In there. Look, that's a great idea. Around. People should look around in their hearts and see if there's some more money in there. Yeah, we want to be clear. Their heart. 20, also, if there is money, more money in your heart, you want to get it out of there. That's dangerous. That's yeah. dangerous. That's not yeah. where it belongs. Clog up your artery. We want people, text your friends, say, hey, do you have $5 you can give to Feeding America? And if they say yes, have them donate it. Okay. That's what we want. Text and all your friends. Know. And let us know so we can add it to our uh, yeah. And I then will send custom dog pics of either dog. Yeah, same. Either, either, either spoof for beef or okay. both 50 or more. Sure. Okay. So we'll say if you do $50 in the next five minutes, mm -hmm. yeah. you'll get a custom pick. Put it in the little uh, note section so I remember who it is. And, and by the way, we have custom. So if you want custom, we have sweaters. We got some little Christmas antlers for these dogs. So if you want like a specific dog thing. Okay. So if we get a $50 donation in the next five minutes, uh, we will we will put that uh, together for them. and you'll. Get yeah, it's an incredibly PG only fans. Yeah. <laughs> And I'll say this: We'll we'll also agree. So fifty dollars, I think yeah. you got both. You got both dogs for you get both dogs for for a hundred dollars. I cannot guarantee they will both be looking at the camera. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. Wait, what was Will saying? For a hundred dollars, I'll Photoshop my dogs with Jenny's dogs. Love this. <laughs> and by what? my dogs, I still I only have one. Yeah. But I will add a cartoon dog of my choosing. With will what? Make it what, is your, what is your life day wish, Will? My life day wish that we get to 20, that's 69,000. I want to see um, Watto do that challenge. What was the challenge? Uh, yeah, what was it? 69,000. Watto, 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 yeah, I need yeah. to see that. That's got to happen. Okay. So, okay. Can I tell you my life day wish? Yeah. That we get to 68,999. <laughs> um, Will, can we also get a clean read of you saying the word McClunky? Mm-hmm. McClunky. Oh, great. Jenny, yeah. what, is, what is your life day wish, Jenny? Well, I have a couple. I thought that I wanted, um, you know, an end to the, the pandemic, but I think what I want is a Star Wars series starring Dr. Beef, uh, Spoof, and Mrs. Roper. Mm -hmm. I want that, too. On, and maybe we could vote. Maybe I don't – I'm not good at Photoshop, but uh, if anybody – did want to make a poster for that. That seems like it would be a good. Yeah. Now I think yeah. the title, I don't think spoof Thanks. is in the title of the show. No, because I think spoof is, is a, is a key character on the show, but the title of the show uh, is Dr. Beef and Mrs. Roper. Yes. Star Wars, Star Wars, Dr. Beef and Mrs. Roper. Can we just so hold like a, a big we hold them up to the camera? Can somebody Photoshop them all together? <laughs> yeah. We do it all at once here. Take this screenshot. Okay. You can go back and get Jenny's too. If yeah, Jenny's still yeah, yeah. yeah, they're, I, they're not going to get in the same shot. I, I could also say $50 will also get you, while supplies last, a Star Wars toy mailed to you. Wow. Oh, wow. Sign, sign sign my my He'll give it sign to a little kid. And I'll kiss it if you want. But, you know, you could get anything from Bespin Luke Skywalker. Bespin Show. This Forces of Destiny, Leia, and R2-D2 wow. set to, I will. Uh, to this, which is a Canto Bite Police Speeder. You could get that. Patrick? Yeah. You know what? I want to give you $50. <laughs> I want to give you guys $50 right now. Yeah. And then I want you to, and then I, I, I want you to mail me whatever you think the best one is. Okay. Yeah. Deal. Great. I, I want to give 50 can you, I'll, can you, um, how do we know you kissed it is my question. I'll do oh, you'll know. Put lipstick you'll know. On. You'll know. Yeah, you gotta put, can you put lipstick on and then kiss one of the toys and then mail it this way? Sure. I just need that $50 donation. You get whatever you want. Um, all right. all I want right. to donate the lipstick as well. Okay. <laughs> okay, here, I'm going to give, here, I'm going to get, I'm going to go right here. 
Yeah. To this link. Um, it's going to do it live on the air. Nice. This is, this is huge. This is unprecedented. What are, your guys, what are you guys like parting life day wish, uh, uh, you know, thoughts that you want to give? Um, well, I've thought of the funniest video, so that might be my parting gift. So yeah. I, uh, I, I take Arrested Development, the show, and I uh, watch it on my phone and I screenshot the video. So I have mm -hmm. a bunch of Arrested Development clips in my phone. So those count as videos. So one of my favorites is when uh, Joe buys the boat and sure. he says he named it the C word. And then uh, the mom walks in and he says, uh, you can't have the boat. And then the mom interrupts and he says, look, you got to get rid of the C word. And she says, I'm right here. It's my favorite. I think her actual <laughs> quote, not to cut you off, but I think she yeah, says, no, no. I'm good and ready. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly it. Yeah. yeah. I'll leave when I'm good and ready. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny Somebody and Will, who are your favorite Star Wars characters? So I can, uh, if I have anything, I can peek through and find something good. Oh boy! I mean, right now for me, it's all about it's all about the child. I know that's you know. I don't have any child stuff. I would right. say I would say mostly prequel or original trilogy stuff. Oh, probably Max Rebo. Okay, I'll try to find something related to Max Rebo. Thanks. Oh, hey, there he is. There's my guy. Nice. Will, Will me, what about you? Size of the Mace, ears. Mace Windu. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't have that. Good. Uh, okay. I will try and see what I got. Hopefully I will. I want to make something very clear, Patrick. Yeah, what's up? If you don't have a Mace Windu anywhere in that pile, it is a failure of systemic racism, and the system <laughs> is you. You are the one who created the racist system. So I just want you to understand that's on you if yeah, you I'll, don't have a Mace Windu. I'll take that. Sure. It happens. I also want to just comment on the Arrested Development thing. Uh, one and two are by far the best seasons. Three is when they also started to do the things they did in four and five. But yeah. one and two are the best. Okay. That's good to know. That's I'm going right into this thing right now. I'm, I'm making good on my promise. You're the best. You're the best in the biz. Hey, it's it's really you who is that. <laughs> oh, that's a nice thing to touché. say. Yeah, touche. I hope that catchphrase catches on. That's a nice way of deflecting a compliment. It's really you, it's really who, is you who is that. It's really you who is that. That was um <laughs> I mean, that sounds like Star Wars dialogue. If I'm it, being it, is, it is, I recognize it. Game recognizes game. That I, I thought that is a great thing to say because it kind of feels like a burn. Yeah, yeah. But you're really just saying like you're just giving the compliment back, but you get to feel tough while doing it. So it's like, oh, yeah. you're the best. It's really you who is that. It is really you who. Is, yeah, it sounds That's exactly it. like it's that. It's really you who is that. It's really you who is that. It's great. Um. Well, you guys are the best. I am an angel. It's really, you who is that? <laughs> oh wow! Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um. Thank you guys for coming on. We love you. Love you. Happy life day. Love you guys. Should I see you, guys soon. see you soon? Somebody send me the link to how to donate. I'm out of here. <laughs> okay. I'm so old. I don't understand technology. Okay. I will. <laughs> bye bye, buddy. I will. No, I he will. will. You, Patrick. You're right. He what, will. A dumb, what a dumb final thing to say to Will Miles. I will. No, I don't think so. He it's really will, he who is that. You're trying to claim his identity. Terrible. Terrible. I'm a sorry. low point for the stream so far. I will. I will. I will. We will. They will. Everyone will. Don't try, don't try to conjugate your way out of this. Can we take, let's take a little status check, okay? Our yeah. goal for today was 54 guests. We're at 39 right now. <laughs> Our goal was 21,250. Where are we? We are at, uh, hang on one sec. That's not up to date. I think we're likely, we have probably like, 12 more hours left? Yes. Yeah. Right? We're at 15,642 is where we are at. So, I mean, we're like 75% of the way on both goals. And yeah. we're less than 25% through oh, you know our show. Is that accurate? You know what we should do? What? We should... Um, hey, Bryson, can you bring up one of our music videos that we have? We're like That's a third great. of the way.
Uh, all right, let's play. This is from. Yeah, we gotta uh, put our goggles on. Gruesome yet cute and it's gone. Sad suckers with sacks of Szechuan. I know that guy from someplace. Way you cut loose with Ray Dawn and Sean. Cody, the best in the biz. Cody, everyone. Best in the biz. All right, guys. I'm going to bring in another guest, okay? Absolutely. Can I just throw up? I've essentially eaten half of this half. Yeah. So and you're a quarter I'm through? A, oh, I'm a quarter through the monster. Ooh. All right. Here we go. Going to bring in our next guest, and then we can introduce them. Ah! Hi. Hi. Hey, Gabby, how's it going? Oh, it's good. How are you? How's this going then? Hey, hey, I slow your roll, Gabby. You don't want to waste too many good answers or questions because you're not on the show yet. Okay. You haven't been introduced. Okay. I'm, I'll... Means, it, this is live. Everyone can see and hear it. But you don't want to waste any worthwhile thoughts because this doesn't count. It's not part of the show yet. Mm -hmm. Look, speak at your own risk, but it, it might, it's going to fall out of canon. It will be legends. Mm -hmm. How would you like to be introduced for when you are actually on your show? Uh, uh, just writer, podcaster. Uh, yeah, I don't know. How long are the intros usually? That's, That's a good fun. length. I... Less than 15 minutes, but. <laughs> Folks, what can I say about this next guest? Just like a writer, like a podcaster, just like generally. Gabby Dunn! <laughs> Hi! Hello, hello, hello. Happy How life, Gabby. Oh, thank you. To you as well. Uh, so excited to finally have you on the show. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, I was on one other time and I had such a good time that I thought, let me just come on back. Yeah. What, yeah. what have you guys Wada, been doing? I think Wada was saying, finally have you on today because you are our 41st guest of the day. Gabby. <gasps> oh, wow. Yeah. This how, is 41. How, how has it been going? Have you had any um, disagreements, arguments, problems how, with people? 
Not yet. We're at $15,642. Awesome. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, has every guest been delightful or has there been conflict? Have we had any clunkers yet? No. Uh, probably the worst no. moment of the show was when Patrick uh, uh, forced a bit that we've rejected time and time again called Patrick Reads the Wiki. Sure. Where he picks a topic and reads the opening yeah. Wikipedia paragraph. He's pitched this every week since May. And, and he was he wanted to do it in the live show before he was even on. <laughs> Gabby, Gabby, what? what? Do you have any Wikipedia pages you want to hear the opening paragraph for? Munchausen syndrome. Okay. You motherfucker. <laughs> How dare you? Okay. No, so, yeah, a great a great moment was that he at the end of Will Miles' appearance in the last segment, sure. he claimed to be Will Miles at the end of it. He said, I will. Yeah. Ah. Right. He's gonna end this segment saying I Gabby. I Gabby. It's going to be a lie. But what uh, is it a reference of Gabby, I got it. I, I got the Wikipedia page. Here we go. Okay, great. So this one is actually called facetious disorder imposed on self. That is the official name of the Wikipedia page. Really? But it was well, here we go. Facetious okay. disorder imposed on self, also known as Munchausen syndrome, is a facetious disorder wherein those affected feign disease, illness, or psychological trauma to draw attention, sympathy, or reassurance to themselves. Munchausen mm -hmm. syndrome fits within the subclass of facetious disorder with pre uh, predominantly physical signs and symptoms, but patients have also had a history of recent, of recurrent hospitalization, traveling, and dramatic, extremely improbable tales of their past experiences. The condition derives its name for the fictional character, Baron Munchausen. I, yes, I knew it was named after Baron Munchausen. I wondered where in the Wikipedia page they would get to that information. Um, and the okay. shit, Patrick. You messy bitch. How quickly does it link to Munchausen by proxy? Well, oh. it says, oh, that's a good point. <laughs> uh, it's almost at the end of the page. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a sub, yeah. that is a subsection of the proposed section. How oh, quick the link, no, no. how quick the link. Yeah, how, how, quick, how quick does it link to something else? That could be the game show. That's it's the game show. Wikipedia page, and then someone says, how quickly does it link to this related Wikipedia page? How Gabby, I hate to cancel you, but I'm about to cancel you. Why? Munchausen by proxy is not accepted anymore. It's not the accepted what? term. What it's is it now called? called? Facetious disorder and facetious disorder by proxy. Why? I don't know. Oh. Are you being facetious or is this true? This is true. This is true. But uh, so, Wado, can I ask you a question about your hat? Yeah. Do you have a naughty hat as well? Well, yeah. <laughs> That's as good as I could have hoped for. <laughs> so, does this change your mood? Look, let's be honest. I wasn't being very uh, truthful when I had the nice side on. I mm. started the day with the naughty and I felt in the pocket. You know, right, I was right, right. And then why did I switch it? Someone called me nice. That's how you switch it. You, it has to be commanded. Right. <laughs> but but it, it didn't feel honest. Sure. And yeah. I appreciate you invoking it, Gabby, because now I'm... I'm back, back in the stream. You know? A commenter wrote Naughty Waddy, which I liked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that, too. He is I like either. that. I go, I'm going to make that official. Wado, do you oh. celebrate Christmas? No, Gabby. <laughs> look, at, look at this Hanukkah tinsel I have here. Ah, okay. But look, ask me, ask, I, I understand, but it was just too... It was too good to pass up a hat that said naughty on it. Right. But ask me right. what holiday I celebrate. What holiday do you celebrate? <laughs> Happy Hanukkah. What, what, what is the purpose of that? Hashtag, oh, hashtag best hashtag night ever. Best night ever. Hashtag Hanukkah. It's a Hanukkah selfie frame. Sure. And the idea is to put that around your face and then take a very close photo of you. Okay. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. It's basically, uh, you're, you're picking up on exactly what I'm picking up there, which is that is a practical effect. Yes, uh, and normally exactly. it's trying to replicate a digital effect, which is a selfie. 
Right. Of course, it doesn't look right, does it? You want to see that digital uh, frame. You want to see the digital lettering. You don't want to see a flimsy piece of paper held up around uh, a real person's head. I don't know. I'm sort of there. I'm here for the nostalgia and um, and the work put in by a practical yeah. effect, you know? Right. Yeah. But you're not going, are you going to start doing practical selfies? <laughs> yeah, maybe I will. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing how that goes. And I take it on a digital camera. I print the digital camera picture out. I <laughs> I yeah. lay I lay a filter from a camera from a, a light like a yeah. color filter right. over the picture. Right. Instead of using a filter. Ooh. Right. Wow. That's what a new one. Called? I'm hearing you know? this one. Oh, that one's very funny. What are those yeah. called? You know. I forget. They're called Sufkan Yot. Sufkan Yot. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, mm -hmm. hang on. I want to bring in, I'm going to bring in another guest, Wado. Is that okay? All right. Of course. Okay. Now, they're not being introduced yet, so we'll ask them how they want to be introduced, and then we'll we'll officially bring them in. Emily. Hello. Hello. So good to see you. A sight for sore eyes. It's me, Emily Vanderwerf, and I'm so well, happy to be here. Emily, Emily, don't say that yet. <laughs> Because honestly, at that at this point, you're wasting your breath. I understand <laughs> what you're trying to do. You're trying to let people know who you are. Yes. But it doesn't count because you're not on the show yet. Uh, okay. All right. But everyone can see and hear you. I, yeah, everyone okay. can see and hear you, but you haven't been introduced yet. Okay. I'm so sorry. This uh, isn't I canon. <laughs> okay. I would love to introduce you. How would you like to be introduced? Um, yeah, call me uh, call me Emily for calling birds Vanderwerf. I feel like that's that's my vibe today. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Yeah. Bye. I started with episode four as well. <laughs> Folks, it got the hot guest. It got the hot guest burning a hole in my pocket. I'm not going to waste any time in introducing. Emily, four calling birds, Vanderwaal. Hey, thank you so much, everybody. Oh, it's so good to be here. Oh, thank you. See you. Thank Happy you. Happy life day. I had, you know what? Being in being in the green room gave me just enough time to get my hair all down around my face and lovely. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. There's a uh, lot of glasses going on. Everyone has very cool glasses. Yeah, except for Patrick. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, these I are these are my video watching glasses. When we watch a video, we have to put these on. <laughs> um, uh, Emily, welcome to the show. Thank you yes. so much for coming back. Thank you. How Thank how you are you guys me. celebrating Life Day this year? This year for Life Day, um, we are going to. Uh, we, we just bought a wreath that's made out of living things, and we uh, they're all dead now. But I'm going to put it on my door and celebrate life by looking upon yes. death and. Uh, wow. yeah. Emily, yeah. follow, follow up question, which thing? Well, there's some pine boughs and there is some citrus fruit and there are some little holly berries. Mm -hmm. um, I'm allergic to evergreen trees. So this is a great time of year for me. So it's a good thing to be putting that on my door, but you know what? Tis the season for life day. Wow. Right. Are you are you allergic to all coniferous trees or or or? Uh, but specifically trees that are put up around life day season uh, really right. seem to get oh. so deciduous, so, yeah. deciduous trees. Yeah. You don't have an allergy to, to deciduous trees. No, I don't. I can, I can like give them a hug. I could like live in a deciduous tree and I'd be fine. Right. Yeah. Um, what uh, tree are you not allergic to? Oh, well, I'm not allergic to like an elm tree, an oak tree, you know, as long as it like, as long as it loses its leaves in the fall, I'm fine. But deciduous. if it's evergreen, I'm, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Mm. Sure. Yeah. Um, now, go ahead. Now, Emily, uh, we were talking to Alan Seppenwall earlier in yes. the day, and we were asking his opinion of the Star Wars holiday special. And he, despite being a, a, a dyed in the wool Star Wars fan, confessed that he has never seen it. And I was curious have you seen the original Star Wars holiday special? I have. I have seen it. Um, I ordered a, a $20 VHS tape 
off the internet mm. uh, in like the year 2000 and watched it with a bunch of college friends, um, not to day age myself, uh, but uh, it had the original commercials from the broadcast in it. And those were by far the best part. Every time there was a commercial break, we were just enthralled to see like, there was one for like the garment workers union, which was really mm -hmm. great. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Wow. What was it advertising? Come join it. It was good. It was advertising that the garment workers of America wish you a very happy uh, life day. So wow, wow. it's wow. a little life day song. It was good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Now we're right now we're at fifteen thousand eight hundred ninety-one dollars. How do you guys mm. think we can raise more money? What do you think is the thing that we need to do? Maybe you need to have some kind of contest, like. Who can like who can donate? Maybe every time somebody does something, some they have to donate a dollar, like a oh, low wow. amount, you know. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, but I think it should be whenever Patrick re reads a Wikipedia page, oh, and no. then and then oh, one no. of us has to guess how quickly it gets to something else we've associated with that. So like, if he was reading the Wikipedia page for Lauren Bacall, like how quickly would we get? Do we think it would get to Humphrey Bogart? You know what I mean? I'll click the link. Right. Okay. I'll click the link. All right, I'm gonna do it right now. So I need people to donate a dollar. Then that's what we're asking. For and hold on, we're officially. We're officially doing it now. I'm, we'll do it at least this one time, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, let me. I feel. I feel under on How many people get it? So, like, if two of us get it right, then they donate yeah. two dollars. Okay. If, if we're going to make it official, I should dress up. Give me one moment. Okay, I'm good to go. Gabby, how quickly do you think they will get to uh, Humphrey Bogart? Let's say. Oh, okay. What sentence number? We'll say that. Okay, I think by sentence. Uh, a five. Okay. okay. I'm going to guess nine. Okay. Emily? I think I'm going to say 12. I feel like, um, is this like Price is Right where whoever gets closest? Uh, without going that. over? Okay. Yeah. I, think it's, I think that Wikipedia's oh. editors are a lot better about not just saying, oh, this was somebody's you know spouse. So I think it's going to be like 12. Uh, George, do you, do you know? Four. Okay. Gabby, uh, is there, we're trying to get a lot of guests also, Gabby. Is there yeah. someone with you who wants to say hi? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mal Blum's here. Also, Mal Blum! Beans hi. account. Hello. Who hi, Mal. Beans hi, Mal. Mal. Wow. This is crazy. So I, good to see you. Wow, George. Know, Mal. That's, that's wild. Um, oh. I can't believe you started with George yeah. Lucas and not me. Like, I'm very <laughs> famous. Yeah. We got Emily <laughs> Vanderwerf here. Yeah. Hi. Uh, so, Mal, I'm I'm going to read Lauren Bacall's Wikipedia page until we get to Humphrey Bogart, and I will count how many sentences. Lauren Bacall, born Betty Joan Persky, September 16th, 1924 to August 12th, 2014, was an American actress. She was named the 20th greatest female star of classic Hollywood cinema by the American Film Institute and received an Academy Academy Honorary Award from the Academy of Motion Pictures, Art, and Sciences in 2009 for her recognition during her contribution to the golden age of motion pictures. She was renowned for her distinctive voice and sultry looks. Bacall began a career as a model before making her film debut as a leading lady in To Have and To Have Not in 1944 at the age of 19. She continued in the film noir genre with appearances with Humphrey Bogart. Oh! I won! Gabby won. That was who said, good. Who said five? Who else said under five? I said four. Okay, so that everyone has to donate two dollars because two people prices righted it. That's wow, right. that's good. All right, two dollars, guys. Yeah. That's all we need. It, we need and here's the thing: if you enjoyed watching that game just now and you don't donate donate two dollars, that's fine. But know that you stole that game. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That was a freebie. <laughs> yeah, you stole that if you don't give the two. Do you guys have questions for Mallard the dog? I didn't know George Lucas was a cop. <laughs> Well, Mal, what's, what's the dog's name, Mal? This is Beans. Yeah. Beans. And oh. honestly, oh. um, he's he's not repped. Um, okay. and neither am I, George. So if you you know want, if you need some new actors, um, for for Star Wars, I, I well, I'm yeah, not I'm retired from filmmaking, but uh, you can come work at my museum. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, that's all I have right now. Now, uh, you didn't you didn't know this was a sensitive subject, but this Star Wars was taken from George. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, honestly, I I am a fake fan. I don't know anything. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. You're Sorry. a real fan because it means you're not paying attention to the Star Wars that doesn't count. <laughs> Frankly, I'm not. No. Like so, all of the new Star Wars stuff, you're you don't like it. I know I like some of it. I like a lot of it. And they let me visit the set. I'm just not involved. I'm working on my museum, uh, which should be opening in the next year or two. Where is it? It's just Los it's Angeles. Not the, really the, uh, the Lucas Museum of Narrative Art. Uh, oh. I, I think we can get a picture of it. Uh, if Patrick, uh, I'm sure he's on it. He's probably got that yeah. picture lo locked and loaded, ready to go. Okay. Hang on a sec. Here we this go. Any second now. We like to do. It's a segment called What Do You Think the George Lucas Museum of Narrative Art Looks Like? Yeah, so this is conceptual art. We're building it now. It's not it's not completed. What would uh, go in it exactly? Um, well, a lot of stuff. Uh stuff narrative like, art. Narrative narrative art. Art. Sure. like like this. Like stuff like this. Okay. Mm. What's the narrative here? Um, oh no! I mean, this this kid, this guy's got dogs. Uh huh. <laughs> real? Is this is a fake kit? No. What? It looks. It looks like a spaceship. Oh bit, yeah. Okay. I was gonna say it's the Norman Rockwells. Look at these. Look at these little kids. They're pretending. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Emily was trying to answer. I think it looks like a Jesus fish. Have you ever seen those Jesus fish? <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm highly insensitive as Hanukkah just ended. George. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Mal, all those I've gotta, stuff. I've got to go. Mal, yeah. no, Mal, you have to guess. Mal, Mal, make a guess. What do you think it looks like? What, the museum? Yeah. 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 Uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's, it's like a thunder dome. Okay. Like giant. Fun. MMA cage. Ah. In, but, it's cool. but it's going to be full of Norman Rockwell paintings. Was I right? Do I win? You win. You win. Oh, no wrong God. answer. Mal, Mal, before you leave, can you say McClunky? McClunky? Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. What is uh, that? Is that is it like when you teach a toddler to curse? What is that? No. no, it's the thing no, people say right before they die, but we're just having you say it for fun. You are in no harm's way. Yeah, every guest is saying it today. It's just a fun word for life day. Oh, no. You're going to yeah. be great. Thank oh. you for coming on, Mal. You're the best. Thank you, Mal. Bye. I haven't said it. Miss you. Bye. We need uh, you to well, say we, it no, we, we, have, we have people say it before they leave. Yeah. Oh. Emily, what is your, what is your mm. life you wish, Emily? My life day wish this year is that um, everyone in the United Kingdom would stop being so out of their minds about trans people for like five yeah. seconds. Oh, that would be great. Mm -hmm. That would be great. Yeah. Spirits of life day could make that right. happen. Um, I also want Beans to get a role in a Star Wars film. Oh, um, that'd be so great. great wishes. Let, let's go ahead and announce it. Star Wars Beans. He can uh, play definitely an alien because he is a dog, but he's very overweight. So I feel like you could just put like a weird, like a weird headpiece on him, and you'd be like, "That's an alien." Yeah, yeah. I, I do, is, now, do dogs exist in the Star Wars universe? Great well, question. It is a great question. Uh, Carrie Fisher's dog was in Last Jedi. Gary Fisher. Gary Fisher. Let me pull up the picture so you guys can see what he looks like. In they the just movie. put a hat on him or something? Close. Uh, here he is. I think they, they like maybe CG'd his face a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. Him on the right in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do that to Beans. There you go. Yeah. Wait, uh, so, so dogs, so like have dogs evolved basically to be bred with like other things or are dogs, mm -hmm. is there like gonna, would, would there be like a German Shepherd on Tatooine, let's say? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I think we're going to find out in this show. Yeah. There are, there are all kinds of dogs uh, in Star Wars, but usually the dogs will be like a dog with a little twist, you know? Like we won't just put a normal dog in. We'll just put, a, we'll give them a little bit of a Star Wars twist. Just like we do that with a lot of people too. Where it'll be like, oh, well, this guy's like this, but he's got a little weird thing on his head, you know? Yeah. Like, right. You know, like it'll be like, oh, let's make him a guy, but let's give him a bunch of bandages. Yeah. It'll be like a bandage guy. Yeah. Or, like, or, yeah, or even like, you know, oh, this person looks human, but they have like one weird thing and that's weird thing. That it's a weird noodle happen. that wraps around their neck or something. Right. Yeah. Just for fun, just to make it more Star Wars fun. 
Right. So I'd always either put a little hat on a dog or a little, put a little something just so they're not, just, so it's a little bit, because because you have to keep in mind, the, the, these movies uh, took place uh, uh, quite a long time ago. And, and the distance from where we are now to where these stories took place uh, was Great. incredibly far away. Yeah. Right. So those things evolved into dog. So like like that thing evolved to become Gary Fisher. It's a yeah. prequel. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Star Wars. Right. All, people say I hate the prequels. They're all prequels to the moment we're living in right now. All Star yeah. Wars are prequels. A F W A P. Can I ask you also, what, 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 what the series of prequels a leading to this very moment? I really George, want to George, let's get a swap trending by the way. A S W A P. All Star Wars are prequels. Um, um, I want to get Gabby's life day wish too. Oh, yeah. my life day wish. Gosh. Um, I guess my life day wish would be um I guess my life day wish would would be well, world peace, obviously. Mm -hmm. Great one. And then um, I guess probably to end the pandemic. I don't know what level you can have of a life day wish, but probably that. And then what also, do you say? I get another dog. I only have the one. Yeah. My partner says, Mal says that one is enough. I feel yeah, like you could probably yeah. have two or three chihuahuas. You yeah. say you want to end the pandemic. What do you say to those who say, mend it, don't end it? Mm. Fascinating. Um, okay. Well, I was going to ask you, George, like if, because you're so well known in the science fiction space. That's I mean, right. what, what ideally would happen for you? Like, if you were writing this, you know, yeah. how, how would it wrap up? Um, you would find where the COVID is coming from and, and the evil people who created it, and then you would blow it up. <laughs> an act of, most Star Wars movies end with what could be perceived as an act of terrorism. But it's usually oh, you have to blow up the main center where they are manufacturing it. And, and who would do that? Um, the Rebels. Sure. Or the resistance or the yeah, yeah. Sure. And the CDC. So, like, would it be like the CDC would be behind it or no? I mean, well, if we're going to set it in our reality, the bad guys would be Nazis. Um, and basically, what you, you the way you'd end Raiders of the Lost Ark, it's basically kind of happening, which is you'd you'd have just like Donald Trump open what he thinks is like, here's where all the COVID is, and it's mm -hmm. something great, and they would just everyone would get infected and their faces would all melt. Right. You no, end with a bunch of Nazis melting. Of course. I, I have a question for both Emily and Gabby. Because I know both of you are very, very politically activated people. Mm -hmm. do, do you think the pandemic can be reformed or should we just abolish it? <laughs> I think it's possible make, even to, to reform COVID at this point. I think we should make an amendment to the Constitution abolishing COVID. And I think that will do it. Good guys, you guys are the best. Emily, Thank wait, you uh, do we have yeah. a do we have a, a clean take of Emily saying McClunky? Oh, let's oh, hear sorry. it. Sorry, McClunky. Perfect. If Thank you say it three times, do you die? What happens? And and no. Gabby, do we get you saying McClunky? McClunky. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Happy Life Day. Happy, Happy Life Day. Day. All right, Patrick, how close are we to, to my life day wish? So we are we are $109 away from your life day wish, George, which I think we can hopefully get very soon. Yeah. And we're 10 um, guests away from breaking the record. Yeah, yeah. Can I put up a new stretch goal? Yeah. Sure. Let's see the board quickly. Hang on one second. Dealing with oh, one little boy. thing. I love it when Patrick uses his actual speaking voice for a moment. I'm just dealing with one little thing. Okay, so George's lights are six, 1650. I want to do Watto's lights 16250. Okay. Okay. Watto's lights. Um... That's Great. what's is happening. That, the show is that broken is down way. irrevocably. What's happening? No, the show isn't broken down. I'm just waiting for someone else to pop in. Oh, uh, is that what you do? Just wait around on the show? Let's have some fun. Let's have Come some on, fun. I mean, listen, we're so close to George's life day wish. Very close. Uh, 
we'll get it soon. Um, I think we'll get yeah, there right. very soon. How are you guys? How are you guys holding up? I'm having how a great life. Today. I, I, I'm glad we're we're seeing so many friends and we're we're making such a difference. I thought we were really going to have to struggle and scrape, but I, I yeah. our our dream of getting to uh, the twenty two thousand basically to beat our all time yeah. record. I actually yeah. think we're going to go well beyond that because we have so much show left and so, so many so many more ways we can stretch. I don't think the giving is going to stop just because we reach yeah. what we dreamed of because every little amount is helping people. So I think in some ways helping people, uh, it's it's quite addictive. You start to feel good about yourself. You start to feel, be, you know, it's been a year where we all feel very helpless. Um, yeah. And... This is a this is a very empowering thing to do is to make things a little bit better. Um, yeah, I think that's a I think that's a great feeling, and I think people are going to get uh, uh, continue to have good feelings through Mando the beginning of Mando Monday because of course we are counting down at midnight on the East Coast. We will spoil, uh, and you don't have to watch this part, but um, we will spoil the end of season two of the Mandalorian at midnight tonight. Yeah. We will give you fair warning again. When 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 the clock rolls over and Mando Monday Mando Monday begins to be celebrated uh, on the George, East Coast, yeah, people are asking to see my Bring the Noise shirt for this week. Well, they are uh, getting what they are asking for. They're getting what they're asking for. Oh, so um, people are asking for an update on the monster. I have taken a pause at one fourth Ethan because mm. I'm going to have to space this out, and yeah. we still have many well, hours left to go. All so monsters, a lot of monsters do have paws, so it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of monsters do have paws, so it's all right. Yeah. Put that on the IMDb quotes. Yeah. Um wow. Well, we're all we're all having fun. We're we're Patrick. uh Patrick. Yeah. Hey, George. You ground oh, this yeah. show to a halt. You got to keep I think the George needs, I think George needs to tell us his life day wish. George, is that okay? Uh yeah, hold on. I'll hey, I'll I'll tell you my life day wish. Let me just here we go. Oh, I don't know. Wado, I'm gonna take us off so he can just tell us this. La fa la 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 fa la 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 fa la Yes, my name is George, and I made Star Wars. Of this you can be sure, in this ever-changing world, where some things are bad, and many things are sad. Hey Luke, I am your dad. Well, we all remember that, but I'm a billionaire. Kind who loves to share Because I really care And because I'm so aware Of the things that people need And the things that people want People need an education A museum and a show to watch That's fun Hey, hey, Disney Plus How you doing? What's the fuss? Did you know? I gave you a show, Star Wars Detours, and it's 39 episodes. Ho, ho, that's a laugh. Funny jokes to make people glad. Already paid for, it's already yours. Push a little button and give people more. Stream, stream, you know what I mean. All the people watching all the goofy scenes. Ain't nothing like a Star Wars comedy show When it's time to stay at home and we got nowhere to go There's a deadly disease all over the world And you can do your part for every boy and girl To keep them inside, to keep them safe Watching all the spoofing Uncle George has made Why would you keep a secret show When you certainly must know That it probably would help if you took it off the shelf Disney Plus, it's time to use the force Release Star Wars Detours It's time to use the force Well, it's a funny show and it's the right thing to do If for no other reason than to keep the death 
George, you turned off your camera. What's wrong? George. Oh, you're back. There you are. Yeah. Oh, good to see you. George. George. That's my, that's my life day wish. Uh, you know, yeah. they've they've announced Ooh. 10 new Star Wars shows, and there's a and and I wish that Disney Plus would say what everyone's thinking, which is that uh, this one goes this to eleven. This one there goes are to 11, eleven Star Wars shows. One is already completely done. Um and uh that's my wish. And listen, if that wasn't if that wasn't worth the donation, then what do you? Then what would what would be? What would be? What you would know? Be? Um, I don't know. I don't know what would be. I don't. I don't know if there's anything. If I that's not. Yeah, and the uh, music for that, uh, we should say, uh, by Casey Jost, friend of the show. Patrick, you muted yourself. What happened? Hey, George Watto, we have a guest. I'm going to bring her in. Is that okay? Oh, I want her to know we've got to introduce her. So when she comes in, she's going to tell us how she wants to be introduced. All right, great. All right, great. How do I want, what? I want to be introduced uh, by the poster behind your head there, George <laughs> Lucas. Right there, yes. And, yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay, that's, that's how we'll okay. introduce you. Okay. Hang on one right. sec, here we go. I think that can be done. Okay, George, is there a way you can bring your camera closer to the poster? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn my camera off. And uh, Patrick, you turn yours off as well. Yeah, sure. Oh, hello. I'm the poster for Howard the Doc. And it is my great honor and privilege to introduce our next guest. Leah Thompson! Yay! That was good. That's so good. Beverly Switzler here at your service. <laughs> oh, You're wearing oh, the coat, George. Yes, of course. Always, always wearing the coat. It's so, Leah, it's so good to see you again. Uh, I, I should have worn my coat just because. <laughs> no, well, you have a wonderful tree. Yeah, you look very festive. I know. I thought, you know, I, you know, continue, just because there's a war on Christmas, I thought, you know, <laughs> I, could, exactly. I could show that not all Hollywood has a war on Christmas, even though right. we're Jewish. We have a Christmas tree. Right. And so there's no war. It's all it's love. Secular. It's a secular, it's a secular Christmas tree. And that's fine. I have yeah. a menorah right over there. Um, well, you're pointing to it. We don't know if it exists. <gasps> we don't Patrick, see it. Jerry. I'm just saying we don't see it. Patrick, how dare you call our dear friend Alana? Yeah, there I knew it, it. I knew the memorial was there. And look, yes. look, we burned it, you know, it burned it to a pulp. Because oh, wow. Hanukkah is over. That's right. It's over. It's yeah. over. That's how I Hanukkah was able is to over buy party. All these decorations for feet. Hashtag Hanukkah is over party. <laughs> and I didn't well, get I'll... anything. Oh. oh no. Well, maybe you'll get something for life day. Today's life day, Leah. How is your life day going? My life day is going good. I'm good. I don't have COVID. Yay. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yay. Yeah. That's, great. Great. that's that's one one good thing. Now I noticed yeah. you have a painting behind you that is, I believe are those horses? Those are people riding horses? Yes. <laughs> yes. That it's is Mount, the... it's Mount Baldy. Mount Baldy. Uh now that, where did you is that an original painting or a print? A lithograph. It's a, it's an original painting, and it fell over during the Northridge earthquake and had to be fixed. Oh, my oh, goodness. Wow. You had to take it to a professional to repair it? Mm hmm But then wow. I realized I could do it myself. So I repair mm -hmm. paintings just in case. I dye hair, and I repair paintings. But, yes, wow. it's, it's really beautiful. In the Laguna Beach Hotel are its brothers and sisters. It was done for a, a, a booklet in the 30s. Um, for trying to get people to come to California. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's really so, cool. So there's one of Pershing Square and like uh, one of San Francisco. And mm -hmm. but I got this one because I like lovely. It's lovely. Thank um, you. Uh, now, Leah, you, how has the pandemic been since we've seen you? Because I think you were, you were working a little bit, like you've been out and about. How has that been? I did a movie with, uh, 
Eva Longoria and Matt Walsh. You know Matt Walsh. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? And um, that was fun. And uh, my favorite part of it was we were supposed to do a scene all together in a truck with a trained raccoon. I had a pet raccoon, my character. <laughs> and um, and the, the trained raccoon really wasn't trained. Is it possible to train a raccoon? I, I think it's possible, but the, the, the trainer said that because the truck smelled like cigarette smoke, Mm -hmm. The raccoon was really scared because he thought it was a forest fire. Oh, so, right. uh, so uh, being locked in a truck with Eva Longoria and Matt Walsh—that is a—that is a smart survival instinct because uh, you should feel bad. You should get a danger feeling when you smell smoke uh, from a forest fire or from cigarettes. Yes, it's yeah. it's true. It's true, but it wasn't pleasant. Yeah. Except for they are such nice people. But we got through the scene. It's probably really funny. <laughs> what the, what was but it? Did, I, you, did you hold that you were holding the raccoon? No, the raccoon was running all over our heads. <laughs> oh boy! Wow. <laughs> I wish I could find a picture to show you. Um, but then I just was in Atlanta directing Star Girl. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, oh yeah. And um, I know that there's always a big thing about Star Wars, Star Trek. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know there's yeah. a. I know. I'm sorry, George, to tell you this, but mm -hmm. I just got. The offer to direct two Picards, Star Whoa. Trek. No, that's that's. I think that's great. And Is that I, okay, I, George? No, it's I'm absolutely. Sorry. It's absolutely okay. These are yeah. all. These are all great IPs. Uh, <laughs> they can coexist comfortably. Mark and Sir Patrick are doing those uh, TV commercials. Yeah. Now, which I think is a great uh, is really bridging the gap between the franchises. <laughs> Thank you, know? you. Yeah, I mean, because I did a whole. I did a whole episode of. Um, the Goldbergs, which was all about whether you were a Star Trek or Star, Star Wars. So. Right. Yeah. Right. I know it's a thing. Because I did a TV show about it. So. Now, okay. I know you probably can't, you probably can't talk. You've seen, well, how far along are you? Are you about to direct two episodes of Picard? Uh, I'm about to, yeah. You're about I, to. Do you have scripts? No. Not yet. No. Do you know? So you can't get anything out of me. <laughs> well, I know that they uh, uh, Patrick Stewart went on The View and offered uh, Whoopi uh, 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 the chance to return as Gigan uh, in Picard, her Next Generation character. Uh, well, I, I wonder if she's in those. I wonder if she's in either or both of those two episodes that you'll be directing. Wouldn't that be great? I love would, her so much. Would be great. Now, I, now you, let's be clear, Leah. Uh, we're not competitive here at the George Lucas talk show. No. You can really? do a Star Wars. You can do a Star Trek. The more, the merrier. Yeah. But we want to make it clear: we're not chop liver over here. We have some shows that we could offer you as well. They're in early stages, but I don't know if you heard. Recently, Disney at their investor conference announced ten new Star Wars shows, and so to stay competitive, we've been announcing ten new shows of our own every week. So we as have a lot of. George Lucas talk show spin-offs on the run. <laughs> I mean, so, do we, what do we think would be a good fit for Leah as a director, George? Well, let's think. What, what were the 10 that we had last week? Because those were those we've already officially announced. Uh, right. Last, we had uh, uh, Smish Me. We had uh, Captain Hook and the Emperor. Who else did we have? We were starting yeah, to merge so. the Disney IP into the Star Wars right. realm. I mean, I right. think I think Leah doing Young Watto. Yeah, it's like it's the yep. Young Sheldon of Watto shows. It's like Young Sheldon, but with me, and I'm like two years younger. I, it's me as like like twenty twenty one. I think that sounds inspiring, and we're gonna use uh, only anamorphic lenses from the forties. There's oh, very wow. few of them, and they're very expensive. So we'll have wow. no budget for anything else. Right. Wow. That's a mank move. Is that a mank move? I, I think so. That's what I they did know. on yeah, mank. You're gonna mank it. it. I'm gonna mank it. Let's mank a movie. Oh, Hanukkah, oh, Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Just, oh. just. No. Hey, hey. Now, no, no I, I think you're now officially a musical guest of. <laughs> That's right. That counts. <laughs> That's right. We can add that to the IMDb musical guest. Yes. <laughs> the stylings. The musical stylings. We've, we've been asking all of our guests if they have a life day wish. Do you have a wish for this year that you want to get out there in the world? 
Oh, um, gosh, you know, it's easy to get profound with that, you guys. Right. It's hard even to be funny. Um, it's okay. It's, you this know. It's famously not funny, Leah, so it's okay. <laughs> well, and, and, and to a certain That's extent, to a certain extent, uh, what month were you on the show last? It was pre-election. Um, oh, God. And it was like August, maybe. And so eventually, eventually we did, uh, we could make a wish for Georgia. Uh, that would be no one's oh. wish. No one's made a wish for Georgia yet. That would be. A good I will. Part. I was just you know shooting there during the the election. Yeah. And I just got home, and uh, I don't know. Feels yeah. possible. It really huh. does feel possible. They're they're both really good candidates. So yes, I will wish for those two senators in Georgia, the Democrats, to win. That's yeah. good. That's what, if that's Mitch good. McConnell could be just. Put into the dustbin of history, that horrible man it would be the best thing in the world. Oh, yeah. Let's get some fan art of Mitch being put in that dustbin. <laughs> <laughs> dumped out. Yeah, just dumping him in that dustbin. A big and, and have, dust him, have him dust. saying, it would be fun to have him saying, like, uh, oh no, I don't want to live here. And then the person who's putting him in the dustbin can say, you've got enough of what you want. Okay. <laughs> That's what good. we want is a photo of like a dustpan and a giant broom, and he's holding on to the end of it, the edge, and he's getting kicked off and falling mm -hmm. into the garden. I mean, you guys have to share your my disgust yes. for this man. Yes, yes. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, somebody else is suggesting a great one, which is uh, Carbonite Mitch, which I feel like if we have the Han Solo frozen in Carbonite with Mitch, I think yeah. that's also uh, that's this also worthy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's pretty. Mitch McConnell is pretty gross. Like I've I've had some gross creatures that we've made in the sort of in the creature shop, but we've never made anything as disgusting on the inside as Mitch McConnell is. You know, <laughs> you guys have beards, so you can't do his turtle face. Like, oh, uh, a duck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That man, that man. He, I, I don't you know. You just know that every turtle is like, I hate that he is around. He's he making makes it, us look so bad. <laughs> so bad. I'm just, he, a, I'm just a slow think, little boy with nothing, nothing bad in me. And now people, we have an association with this guy. They go, now, you, they, that's the problem. It turtles in the animal kingdom, and they're walking around, and other animals look at them and they go, oh, Look at this fucker with his Mitch McConnell face. And they're like, Hey, I had the face before he did. He ruined it for us. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think he's happy? That's Never. a genuine question. Never. No. How no. can he be happy? No. Look I've at him. Seen, he's I've sick. Seen, yeah. He's I've sick. seen yeah. him smile, and that is not a smile of happiness. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. This is not the way a happy person behaves. No. This is the behavior of someone who is trying to fill a hole that will never be filled in the center of their soul. Yes. There is no. a bantha pit at the center of him. That will never yes. be filled. Yes, not not I, even Boba Fett could fly out of that. No, alive. I should say we are at sixteen thousand six hundred and sixty-six dollars and nine cents. That's how much we raised. So far. Leah, how oh, should we oh. raise more money? What What do we need to do? Second, to raise that money? means we have to activate the lights. Oh yeah, George Amato, put on your lights. Um, Leah, what's a good fundraising tip? What do you think will get people to donate to us? Um, I don't know. I, I they, they, do they need us to do something really crazy? I yeah. don't know. Yes. I, I mean, uh, if if I can figure it out, I'll donate. But I don't know. Oh where. wow! Okay. Uh, let's see. Um. Oh wow! Look at these lights you guys got. How do I donate, you guys? I have to go on on Twitter or something. Instructional. I can Why don't we walk through these steps of donation? Sure. There's yes, that's a good way. There's two options people can do. They can either donate directly to Feeding America and then forward us the receipt. Mm -hmm. Or you can go to down in the corner. It says bit.ly slash GLTS gives. And that will, uh, we will donate all of that that comes in. Um, oh, right there. But if I do that, I might leave you guys. But I'll do that yeah, later. Once, do like once you get sick of me. I, what can we do? Never, Let's see. It would never happen. Um, uh, I I could try to give away something like pictures or something like that. I think that's a good idea. 
Uh, how would they? How would they do that? How would they? You could get say, uh, I mean, what, what do you want the money to be? We could say the next one person or two people to give a hundred dollars, hundred and fifty dollars, whatever you want to say, could get something. Um, yeah, well, they could get. I think I have that poster, maybe, or I have an. I have other Howard the Duck posters. Um, well, I have. Let's see. What do I have? I have lots of Back to the Future pictures and posters and stuff like that. I could donate five or. 10 of them. Okay, we could do that. Do we want to say the next 10 people to give a hundred dollars? Yes. Let's say that. Okay. And then okay. you'll give me the, you'll give me the addresses and I'll send okay. them to them. So guys, if you guys yeah, if you okay. donate a hundred dollars, put that it's for uh, Leah's photos in there. So I remember it tomorrow when I'm going through them all. Does that make uh, sense guys? Yeah. George. I That's great. That's so yeah. generous. Thank you, Leah. George, George got a little. What? You got a little somber with those lights on, George. Well, I can't move. I can't move. It took a lot to get a well, so they can be seen. I wrapped them around my sleeve, but this is a stress position. I don't want to hold my my arm up like that. So I got three Yodas. I got one right down here. I got another one up there, I believe, like up there, and another yeah. one down there. I'm trying to direct my. Can you see? I'm directing my eye to where I I think the Yodas are located. Sure, sure. All right, but I can't really see them very well. They're all peripheral. It's hard because I have a whole string of Yodas, but uh, you know, like oh. I don't want to. Yeah. Oh, so it's a competition. It's a, it's a, it's a competition now, huh? Yeah, but everybody wins. I, this is a competition where we all win because we all have lights. Yes. All right. It's a menorah. I'm very party. frustrated because I thought this took double A batteries, but it takes triple A's, and now I can't find any triple A's. Oh no! This is a mess. Oh no. I bet you'll find some triple A's, Watto. I have a whole, I have a whole mess of them here. I wish I could send them to you. That doesn't help me, George. No, You're did you hear my wish? I already, I wasted, rent. I already wasted my rent. life day wish, wishing for Disney Plus to add Star Wars Detours, so I can no longer wish That's for my battery to be near you. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, uh, so tell, so, so, so working in COVID is really, uh, it's a, it's a hilarious adventure. Have you guys, have you guys shot anything in COVID? No. no. So I'm directing with a mat, double mask and a shield mm -hmm. and you know, my, my co context. Right. And I'm like, I, I'm, you know, you know what that's like. It's like, yeah. what? <laughs> and then my, my glass all fog up. And I can't oh. see the monitor. I'm like, it's too black. It's too black. I can't see anything. And you walk in and they go, don't get too close to the actors. And you're like, okay. Yeah. Right. So it was, it's, it's a little bit weird and frustrating, but it's good because wow. a lot of people were about to lose their house and stuff, you know? Yeah. So. The, having uh, done both sides of it now, having worked as both on camera as a, an actor and behind the camera as a director. What are the things you've learned from each side of that position helps make the other one easier? Does that question make sense the way I just structured it? It is. It does make sense. Um, it's, uh, so I will now answer like you. Um, it's, it's uh, yeah, of course. I mean, because I have like a lot of practical experience, you know, there's a lot of practical yeah. things. I don't think people know how hard it is, how much time it takes yeah. and how hard okay. it is. Two more, two more pictures. We have two pictures left. Already? Yep. Wow. Yeah, you've got already taken well, care I of want them. one of them. I want one of them. How much do I have to donate? $100, Wado. Done. Right, okay, we have, we have one left. more photo one left. left. We have one photo left. Oh, no, I'll give you free one. Whoa. Ooh, just okay. goes to 11. No, no. Just because you're so sexy. Wow. Wado. Wado. Wait a second. Say that. Say that one more time. <laughs> what, are what are you doing? Mata, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. I'm deeply afraid. No, hold on. Someone in the chat is saying, first a duck, now a toy Darian? <laughs> <laughs> say, say it one more time. You are so sexy. You're an absolute dream boat. Uh, it was supposed to turn on at the moment you oh! said it, it, My timing was off. Kind of like the, uh, the feather. Very right? good. Well, 
Yeah. Yes, that was the idea. Yeah. Well, that, oh, that made me, that, I don't know. It was a nice exchange. I think, I think it should be in the poem. It was. It was a nice vulnerable moment. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, we have one more photo and then we are, we're, we're filled up. Um, Leah, you're they, the best. Are they supposed oh. to be Back to the Future photos? I think it's dealer's choice. I think that's okay. dealer's choice. We need to get a clean McClunky though. Yes. Leah, can you say the word McClunky uh, for us just once? We're having every guest say this. McClunky. Perfect. Oh, nailed it on the first take. <laughs> That's the one word that I. It's the word that I added to uh, Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope for its Disney Plus uh, premiere. The final word that was added to the movie. It's kind mm -hmm. of a mysterious, enigmatic. It kind of means a lot of things to a lot of people. Kind of um, like Aloha. A little bit, yeah. It is. Aloha. It's like the Star Wars Aloha. That's a great way of uh, uh, combining it. <laughs> Perfect. Leah, thank you so much. I hope you'll come yeah. back again. Happy Life Day, Leah. Thank you and so you'll, much. You'll, and you'll uh, you'll tell me how who to send it to. Right? I'll get it all. Yeah, I'll get thank it all you. to you. Absolutely. Bye. I'll donate I'll too. I'll double that. Whatever. Thank you. You're guys. the best. Thank you. All right. See ya. Thank you. Uh, uh, Love George. I, she's the best in the biz. The best in yeah, the, the biz. Best. Just the best. I'm gonna I'm gonna okay. bring in another guest. Wado, is that okay? Yeah, of course it's okay. Why would I not be okay with that? Why would we not be it's okay with that? Oh, Jackie. 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 McClunky, everybody. McClunky. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do you have the exact same menorah? Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> when I saw Leah's, I said, oh, I got to go get it. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Only the most powerful Jewesses in Hollywood have this menorah. <laughs> wow. It oh, is wow. And guess who else has it? Maya Bialik. No. When I oh. saw her Instagram, I was like, It's a so, life day mirror. Like I said, okay, wait a second. Leah, I know you were trying to leave, but now we have to do something. Can <laughs> And we pass the menorah from one frame to the other. Okay. <laughs> we can pretend George, we're doing George the horror. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, oh. so I'll pass it down to Leah. Pass it down to Leah. And then yes. she'll pick it up from the top. Okay. Ready? Oh my god, that's so funny. Thank you. I'm glad I stayed to see that. Me too. My daughter, oh, yeah. my my daughter, when she was poor, she bought that for me in New York City. Oh my goodness, these oh. are cheap. I know, I know. Wow. This is quite the investment. I know. And, and you know how you can tell it's a, a real New York City menorah because wow. the water is better. <laughs> it's true. It's got that New York water that makes yeah. all the difference. Definitely. <laughs> all right, I'll let you guys go. Sorry. All right. That's Bye, so cool. Nice to see you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, Jackie, how are you? I'm honestly great now. I mean, Jackie, uh, I, look, I, I hate to bring your mood down. I have one piece of bad news for you. Okay. You're technically not on the show yet. <gasps> oh, no. I mean, this is live and everyone can see and hear it. And they saw that happen and they had a lot of fun. But I haven't introduced you yet. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Well, get to it. Okay, how would you like to be introduced? Tell everybody that just like your last guest, I'm an iconic actor uh, <laughs> that you know from your the, the biggest movie franchise that's ever been on, on the screen. Okay, perfect. Great. Okay. Folks, Leah Thompson, great guest, wasn't she? Well, she's got a couple of things in common with this next guest, who is also a great actor who has been in some of the most iconic franchises ever to grace the screen grogu's and gragas please welcome jackie johnson yeah, hello everybody. everybody oh jackie jackie jackie. Hello, jackie i can't believe i hadn't even been technically on the show yet and i was already having so much fun you were giving and it all I, away I, for free 
It, that's it is my motto, best. babe. Now, that, Jack, I noticed you have a different. The, the best anyone has ever been before being on the show. Yeah. I, that, I take that title with pride. <laughs> now, Jackie, I can't help but notice you have a, I believe you have a new technical setup, a new yes. headphones and microphone. Yes. Tell us about your, yes. tell us about your gear. Well, mm -hmm. um, I started working as a customer service representative for Discover Card. Mm, card so I was actually just working and I took my yeah. lunch break. Discover is Art. there on weekends for everybody. So yeah, if you true. need anybody, yeah. if you need help, if your card got stolen, you know, I'm here for you. Just like yeah, the commercial says. So I just, right. you know, put this on, Oop, plugged yeah. it in, and Oop. and here I am. Oop. This is great because yeah. we're not even out the plug section yet. And you're already yeah. plugging the heck out of that Discover card. You now, know what? I yeah. take pride in my work. Now, it, if, if we're moving this quickly through items of business, I think there's something we need to get out of the way very quickly. Absolutely. George, you owe Jackie an apology. Yeah, I, do. I was going to bring I, up. Oh, that's exactly what I was about to bring up. I I don't even Plum remember. Gate. I don't even remember what it was I did, but I know that I Plum Gate. What was it? Plum Gate. Yes. Oh, yeah, Plum. He was trying to get me to Eight think of Plum. Minutes yeah. Of Jackie's time you trying to get her to segment. say the word Plum. You <laughs> ate his time. You made me look like an asshole. I did. I you did. made her look I, like I, a fool when you, you were made me, You made me look like an asshole in front of two different Studio 60 writers. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And that could have cost me jobs. Yeah. Now, yeah. here's the thing. Here's the thing. In my defense, oh. I'm famously diabetic, and I, uh, and I blame the disease. Wow. No. No, don't blame the disease. George, do. take responsibility blame the disease, not the for Plum Gate. Take yeah. responsibility for I Plum Gate. I apologize. I apologize. And I also would like to point the finger of blame at the diabetes that has ravaged my body every day for decades. You know what? I accept your apology because this is the holidays and yeah. we need to all forgive and forget. Yes. Yeah. And because if you're going to be mad at me, you'd have to be even angrier at Patrick, who's way more diabetic than I am. Oh, that's true. But here's the thing. This is your opportunity. Uh, you had a story that I prevented you from telling and you said it was great. And I have this, it. This is your chance. So we can we can <laughs> okay. the, we can we can close the circle. OK, so interior. Transpo van studio 60 2006 <laughs> got, it. got it day yes I'm in a I'm in a van on the Warner Brothers lot and I am a mere extra at this point mm -hmm. Sarah Paulson gets in the van mm -hmm. this is pre-covid time Hayes. Harriet Hayes yes Harriet Hayes herself, herself gets yeah. in the van and sits next to me okay cool. And I say, I'm feeling brave. I say, <laughs> I have the same Ugg boots on. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, aren't they the best for being on set? And I had been on two sets at this point. The day before, an extra on House MD. <laughs> and now today, that's a story too. And then today, Studio 60 on the Census Trip, I said, oh, yeah, I always wear them to set, you know. And she was like, oh, well, thanks for being on the show. I hope you're having a good time. I said, I'm having a great time. And then I realized that this is something for, I'm peeling the curtain back a little bit of Hollywood. Yeah. I, I, I already exposed the menorah. This is, once yeah. you yeah. enter Hollywood, you, this is the menorah you are gifted. The power menorah. Exactly. <laughs> Every actor, when they're sitting down and you can't see their footwear, they are wearing Ugg boots. And they mm -hmm. have somebody in between takes They'll say, cut, they'll bring in the Ugg boots, they'll put them on, and then if they need you, if you see their feet, they'll put on the heels. But if you can't see them, they're wearing Uggs. Right. That's fact. Yeah. George, do you wear Ugg boots when you direct? Yeah, I do. I absolutely do. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Let's get some fan yeah. art of that, because I've never seen that. Yeah. yeah. And But I'll deny it. I always, if you see photos where I don't have Ugg boots on, it's because I just took them off to have the photo taken. Uh, and, yeah. and the little clue that I put into that is, uh, I even created a race of characters in star Wars who were the most un Hollywood characters in the whole franchise, the Ugnots. Mm -hmm. Uh, these were characters that I, I sort of intended. They're sort of working in a, in a, in a industrial, uh, uh, atmosphere the furthest away that I could imagine from the glamor of Hollywood from the, the, yeah, there's an Ugnot right there. There they are. Yeah, there they are. 
Yeah, there they are. Down. Take a look at the footwear. Take a look at the footwear on the Ugnots. Yep. Not Uggs. That's the Not that's the, the they call that color deep camel. Deep camel. <laughs> yeah, that that kind of chocolate brown. Which also is sounds like let's go ahead and add that to the list of Star Wars shows today. Star Wars Deep Camel. Deep Camel. Yeah, that sounds like a good title. I don't know what that show would be, but I like that as a title. So let's throw it on the pile. Yeah. I'm going to add it to the list right now. I love I love that franchise. I see like um kind of an apocalyptic desert very uh you know oh. kind of sepia tones wouldn't it be great to have yeah. a star wars show set on a like a desert planet yeah they i don't think that's been explored enough yet no it's a new territory yes <laughs> i but i what mean the planet i mean the planet is really all desert like it's like yeah. there's nothing but desert nothing like, but that's desert we haven't done really i mean there'd still be little cities and towns but it's like all desert all desert yeah. I'm excited to see that. So see, cool. it might it might be something new. Yeah. Jack, who would you want to play in a Star Wars movie? Um, let's see. I would want to play a real badass. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Because I don't like I'm not like a fighter. Yeah. But it would be fun yeah. to like learn how to fight, you know, like I have my water bottle here. It'd be cool to like Yeah. You know, like Kind of you fight with a lightsaber out. that's made of water. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I think that might be fun. Yeah. The wet. There, you've heard of the dark saber. Have you heard of the wet saber? It probably <laughs> shorts now. out the other lightsabers. That's true. That that's actually the secret that nobody talks about is if you just splash some water, the whole thing will go out. <laughs> yeah, you give them electrical shock because the electricity yeah. flies off the lightsaber and sparks onto them. <laughs> Everyone fears the wet saber. What a way to go. <laughs> and you, right. you ride the desert yeah. camel. Your character like <gasps> you, is known as the desert camel. You ride some sort of creature that's not quite a camel. You're on a desert planet, but your sword, your sword is wet. So you can always just take a drink off the sword. That's true. I'll never, I'll never go thirsty. Yeah. Like yeah, a big lollipop or a big popsicle. Just unlimited water. What a, I mean, the weapon is un, unfathomable power. Yeah. I mean, I think we have two out of three necessary elements here. Okay. We know that your character has a wet saber, right? We know that your character rides the deep camel. That is That's their right, fingers. Of choice. Patrick Fingers. And what we need is a name for your character. And I think the name is right under our nose. Jackie, what is the name of your podcast? It's called Natch Butte. And does that not sound like the name of a Star Wars character? Natch Butte. Absolutely. Although I have that trademarked, so I'm going to need to be paid. But yes, once of we course. work the paperwork out, we're yeah, down. Yeah, there's all stuff that's going to be taken care of in legal. Also, we're what? announcing these shows. We don't actually own, I have no rights to that. We're announcing these shows in the hopes they will all be made. I'm sure they will be, but we, we don't make Star Wars shows. I don't, I'm working on my museum. We're I just, understand. we're taking an aggressive stand. Star Wars announced 10 shows last week, 10 new Star Wars shows. They did not include the one that I made for them, which is just sitting on the shelf in their vault. Um, so we've decided to announce 10 new Star Wars shows every week for the next 10 years. Natch Butte, a Star Wars story is a pretty good title. That's great. I can't wait. Right. I have right. another, uh, I have a costume idea. I'm just yeah. spitballing. Sure. Great. What if. Oh. Oh. Wow. I like that. Okay. That's you know, great. something like this. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Now and yes, I am in an empty room. Somebody asked that in the chat. I just moved. And I don't have any wow. furniture yet. So yeah, honey, take it in. What's behind that door? Uh, that is uh, a volcano entrance. Oh, wow, Mustafar. Wow. Yes. to a volcano, interesting. Jackie, yeah. what, is your, what is your life day wish, Jackie? Okay, I thought about this a lot. Obviously, everybody, you're, you've probably gotten a lot of like, I want the pandemic to yeah. end. I want yeah. everybody to be safe. But you know what? This year has been really hard and I would just like a Tesla. Okay. Is that All fair? Right. I would like now, a Model now, X. Okay, yeah. Be specific because you might end up getting one of those movies they make about Tesla, and you'd be like, "Oh, on Blu-ray, great." You want a vehicle, yeah. right? You want an actual Tesla. I want an actual want Tesla, a Model X. You know, I'm maybe going to start having kids soon. I need room for the family to grow. Is this exclusive? No, I mean, 
you know, in a, in a little bit. Okay. Okay. I just gotta don't... fill up that car. Procreate. Spread the seed. You know, yeah, the American hunting. dream. Stop hunting, Cash hunting for, for exclusives. Stop hunting. For I'm exclusives. hunting for exclusives. Um, that's a good wish. I think. Oh, I think you could that's get a that. great. That's a great title. Star Wars Sclusi Hunter. <laughs> yes, that is a show now. Um, Jack, we've also tough. been having everyone say McClunky. We've been McClunky. Trying to yeah, McClunky. McClunky. I. I okay. said it earlier, but I wasn't on yet. So yeah. yes, yeah, McClunky, McClunky, McClunky. Has anyone sang McClunky yet? One. No. No. Let's who, who sang it? Uh, Shannon sang it. That's true. Oh, oh sorry. Wow. Uh, uh, b bitches be horny for Shannon. Uh, bitches Spoke. be horny for Spo sang it. Yeah. Don't worry about it, Jackie. All right. Well, I'm gonna let's sing get a, it. Let's get a yeah. Okay. <clears throat> McClunky, yeah. Great. That's a little bit of a run wow. there. I love that. I love yeah, that. I tried. It's early. I haven't warmed up. But Jackie, Put a little drink on it, didn't you? I tried, you know. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for coming, Jackie. Thank yes, you. thank I, you for I, having I, me, I, everybody. Happy life day. Happy life. I, have, I have one question for Jackie. I have one question for Jackie before she leaves. Okay. Jackie, do you know what the name was of the 90s alt-rock group that Caitlin Fitzgerald, a.k.a. Vitamin C, was in before her solo career? I wish I did. All I know is uh, the graduation song. <laughs> it was called Eve's Blank. Eve Six? No, we'll figure it out another time. Is this some plum gate crap again? Oh, it's Eve's Plum. That's what it's yeah. called. Eve's Plum. Perfect. <laughs> Bye, Jack. Bye. Get out of here. Bye. All right, Wado, I'm going to bring on our next guest. But he's not okay. part of the show yet. He's got to get introduced. Oh, not yet. Great. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Hey, well, well, nice. well, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for all the improv teachings that you provided to George and I. It's really come in handy. <laughs> Has it? You guys were interesting students to have. Oh, thanks well, for all the improv help. Yeah. Let's talk about that in a second. Because yeah. there, there's the part of me that keeps on every time we have a guest appear throw down the no butt, and then I remember, what would Will say? Oh, no. Will would hang say on, Will hang on. Oh, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Laura. No, I'm I would done. say you got, a, you got a yes and. That's what I would say. There it yeah. is. There's the, now, there's Will, you're not talk. on the show yet. I don't mean to no butt you, but you are not on the show. No, I pre that's just playing it real. Everyone can hear you. Everyone can hear you, and everyone can see you. <laughs> but you're I'm not on the show? Yeah. No, because you haven't been introduced, been introduced yet. yet. I see. I can. see. Okay, this is yes. not the canonical appearance on the show yet. I have to yes. introduce you. I totally understand. So anything I say Wait, now I is not canon. Correct. So anything yeah. non-canonical, you want okay. to take out of your system now. All right, yeah, Patrick, I, I want to be clear because I do feel like we're always in dangerous territory. You can say things that are completely and entirely cancelable. Uh, yes. They're just not okay. canon. So don't they're think that's a free space. It's yeah, there, there, there can be consequences for what yes. I'm saying, but this will yes. not affect the canon. A, yes, anything you say will become a legend, but All the right, legend Pat can have dangerous repercussions. Okay, Patrick, I think you're doing a great job. I just I don't want that to be canon, but I just want to say that. And um, well, uh, I'm glad you said that out of canon. Is Patrick yeah. frozen? <laughs> yeah, Patrick's frozen. Yeah. <laughs> we can do anything to him. Look. <laughs> I'm the one who's got a direct shot. Look at this. Look at that. Right to the noggin. You're right on you're right on his noggin. I'm gonna set Max Rebo on his little head. And then he's gone. He's gone. Nice. And now and now the fun begins. Um yeah. we're gonna no we're gonna Patrick. Well, Patrick's Patrick's. Who knows what's happening with Patrick? Yeah. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll take you off the stream, and then uh, Water will introduce you. But how would you like to be introduced, Will? Uh, improv uh, guru, um, and um, star of television and podcasts. Great, great, yeah. And recording artist, also add recording artist. I'll go ahead and add that on his behalf. Uh, George, can you ask me if I want to introduce the next guest? Uh, Wada, do you want to introduce our next guest? Yes, and he's an improv guru and an actor and podcaster. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the king of 101 slash 201, depending on which order you took from him versus his brother, Will Hines. <laughs> yes, and also a recording artist who's recently uh, released an album. Oh, you guys are crushing the improv. Good job. This is yes, incredible. and you are now on the show. Yes, and Patrick. Yes, and, here I'm, too. I'm, oh. yes, and yes, and I'd like to say, uh, how are you, Patrick? Hi, Will. It's so good to see you, oh, Patrick. Patrick. Yes, and hi, Will. It's so good to see you. Yes, yes. and my Wi-Fi crapped out, so I didn't know the bit we were doing. Okay, well, don't do Borat. Don't, don't, just and throw, don't make don't just throw Borat impersonations into it. Yes. Don't do shit like that. Yes, <laughs> yes and my Wi-Fi. Yes, and I would like to say hello to my friend Will. Yes, and now you've done it. Do you see how when you say that your Wi-Fi crashes, rather than continuing to build and pave the road, it stops it? Yes, and, and just to find the new road. You're killing. Watto is showing that he does good improv. Yes, yeah. and Will, it's great to have you here. And yes, and Patrick, you're ruining the show. Yes, yeah. yes and, and Patrick, you suck right now. Yes, and Patrick, yeah. fuck you. Yes. Yeah, yes, Patrick. and Patrick, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Yes, and, and uh, Jordan, deal, it's so nice to see you. Yes, and what's your fucking deal, Patrick? Yes, and what is your fucking problem, Patrick? And yes, and your beard is fake. <laughs> Patrick. Patrick, we're just having fun. This is called improv. You're supposed to enjoy it. Not <laughs> yes, out. and Patrick, you have to like it because it's just fun. Pouting yes, is not Patrick, a, pouting is not a choice. Think. Make a choice, don't, Patrick. Yes, and you must make a choice, Patrick. Patrick. You must make a choice. Yes, and Patrick, you and your fake beard have to make a choice. Yes, and Patrick, the, 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 move, choice the move is, no is just like pulling on that beard to prove that it's real. <laughs> Patrick. Yes, and perfect improv. Yes, and good yeah. improv. And scene. Yes, and ah, scene. Go, go yes, and, yes, and scene. Yes. Well, here we are. How is your life day going well? My life day is going uh, very nice. Um, hey, that's a now when you do a Borat impression like that, <laughs> that works. You see the difference between when Patrick he didn't yes and he said my Wi Fi, but then you were like, very nice. How's your life going? Yeah, very nice. That's I like. Constructive. <laughs> That's a constructive Borat. Yeah, the difference. It's yes, amazing man. to see a pro. My Borat added and went in the flow. It wasn't like stealing focus. You know what I mean? It wasn't. It wasn't even noticeable. Yeah, Shemesh. What's ugly going on here? Those are ugly. Oh, ugly. Yeah, we got a few pieces of fan art. There's George in hugs. Ooh, so oh, good. Nice. Uh, there's, oh, it's in love. There's George and Uggs. Wow. <laughs> you wore the Uggs to the museum. There's God. George and Uggs. Oh. I don't know what this is. That's when you were frozen, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Someone uh, made you a bird? Someone made me a bird. Oh. Patrick, Patrick bird. I was poking your head through the Zoom when you froze. Did you know, did you feel it? No. Because your head was numb, it was frozen. The way this layout is now, it's like George's square is emitting a lot of natural light towards me. That's He's right. Being the director all the time, like casting me right. a very nice natural light. I throw the light, light to you. I throw the light right. to you. I'll take it, yes. Well, I have a question for you. Good, good. Much like George Lucas, you are a creator of French. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You are the architect of the wildly successful Screw It. We're going to talk about Blank franchise. That's right, yeah. It's... Now, the reason for the season today is to raise money for Feeding America. Mm, good. And I'm wondering if a way we can get people excited and donating is to create a stretch goal to launch an original Screw It. We're going to talk about Blank here on the stream. So can we say yes. we're at 17,790 right now? Okay. If we get to 18,000 in mm -hmm. the next five minutes. Yes. Okay, so that's $210 approximately. Very doable. Let's launch, let's launch a new screw it. I, we'll, we'll say screw it and we'll talk about this thing. We'll stop avoiding it. Okay, I'm, I'm, I endorse this. We will expand the screw okay. universe. The screw universe. Yeah. The view um, of Scrooge Yeah, CD Dridgen just uh yes, that was a good yeah. 
Uh, I adopt now, that term. So I'll expand the screw universe to be whatever if we make that goal. Yes. So let's figure it out. Let's let's while people are donating, let's figure it out. What is the expansion? What is the thing you've been avoiding talking about up until this point? <laughs> Could be it could be Borat. That's pretty. I have not talked a lot about Borat. It could be. It could be. Um, it could be Patrick. It could be Patrick's fake beard. Screw. We're just going to talk. Screw. We're just going to talk about Patrick. Would be an interesting pivot for your franchise to take because previously <laughs> yeah, a lot of my like audience Spider Man, <laughs> Spider Man, the Beatles, the Beatles, and then Patrick. Yeah. yeah, Patrick. Yeah. yeah Pat, my my audience would be caught unawares. They would they would have it to would be, be a shock to the system. There would be people right. for whom that they would be delighted by that turn of events, and others uh -huh. would think that was where I stopped following the screw number. <laughs> well, it would be it would be an interesting pattern because up until this point, your subjects have been pillars of pop culture, and yeah. you would be then pivoting into a messy dish who lives for the drama. A deep cut on a very passionate but not as large pop culture universe. Which well, the George, let me say this because this is sort of will related. People know that if they donate fifty dollars, they'll get a prize from us. And one of these prizes, I might just toss some of these in there. Star oh, Wars, comics. some comics. We right. got some comics. I've got some. I've even got some like. Uh, what are we talking? About? I've got coloring books. Oh, very I believe, nice. I believe I have some trade paperbacks too. Um, uh, I, I'm really interested in screw. We'll just talk about Patrick. I think there yeah, could be fine. a chapter I, I, on because I because I, I don't want it to be too narrow. We could be Patrick's yeah. fake beard, Patrick's yeah. real beard, Patrick's right. failures, Patrick's successes. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot of places lot to of go. On the book. So right. let's say officially at at eighteen thousand dollars, we are launching the inaugural episode of Screw It. Let's talk about Patrick. Hutt. Yeah. That also that also unlocks our third musical guest for later in the right. night. Too. Yes, Dan Watto. I just need to specify. It's it's screw it. We're just gonna talk. We're about just it. going to talk. Patrick, just to stay about Patrick Patrick about yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. Um, Get added it. Because it has to be that defiance. Like we're just gonna talk right. about. Like we're. Right. The, yeah. Because my first screw it thing was the Beatles. And it was born right. after Trump was elected, and there was a lot of political discussion, understandably, on social media, and I was too overwhelmed to engage with that. And it's like, screw it, we're just going to talk about the Beatles here. Mm -hmm. like right. that, was, that was the emotional. The, the interesting pivot for this is that the, the Screwniverse was founded upon talking about very uh, uh, digging in deep and, and sort of emotionally into very popular, widely known things. Popular sort of happy things like, hey, this will be fun to talk about. Let's have a good time talking right. about this so you've thing. Done, you've done Beatle, the Beatles. You've done Spider-Man. Uh, mm -hmm. You've just done comics generally, right? You were going broader. Yeah, we expanded Spidey to comics, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And so this will be the first time that I think people, will, a lot of people who are listening, although who knows, maybe the people will, be, maybe you'll just have an audience of the diehard, uh, uh, what what do we call Patrick's fans? The deluded, con con the nerds, deluded con few? Nerds. Okay, yeah, that's yeah I don't think we've ever had to answer this question. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's decide. Let's decide. Or, or cotton nerds. Cotton nerds. Cotton nerds. Yeah. Cotton nerds yeah. yeah, is pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah, but I'll also good. say this. They have, three they have three minutes to get this money in. Cotton is good. Cotton is pretty good. Three minutes to get to 18,000. Cotton blockers? The rat pack. George, everyone's saying the rat pack. The rat pack. All right. Or the, or the pat pack. Because no, or, do we, the, or do we just want to take the, the rat pack from that crew? Yeah. Well, I like the pat rack. The pat rack. Co-opted fully. The Pat the Rack has a nice rack. feel to it. The Pat, pat Rack is, uh, it's a little, I like that it's a little um, hard to say so that it won't take off. Yeah, we're part of the Pat yeah. Rack. I like <laughs> it. I, I don't think we're going to get there, so I don't think it matters. You Come on, let's get there? there. Let's get there to 18,000. Let's let's make this. Oh, how long do we have? We're just going to talk about Patrick. The Pat I mean, Rack Will's got, Will's got two minutes left. So. Okay, Will, we need Maybe. to get a clean McClunky out of you. Just say McClunky. McClunky. All right, and now what's your life day wish, Will? I want a um, another special edition of Star Wars, like revised yet again by George. Mm -hmm. That'd be my wish. All right, I'll see improved, I can do that. improved yet further. I'm gonna have to do like a get like an Ocean's Eleven style crew of people to break in and and do that. Well, it does, I don't have to get it. That's my wish. That's just that's well. It I'm, just I like to, we like to make mind. wishes come true. Yeah, it's just the wish. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, we need right now. Let's close our eyes and let's pray. We need some four dollar friends. We Just need some $4 friends. We need less. Than, we need less than a hundred dollars. Wow! So we if everyone gave four, 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 two sixty nine, threw in ten bucks, two sixty nine, we we get there easily, and you get to make a hilarious joke while doing it. Yeah. You get two sixty nine. You get to two. You get two sixty nine. Yes. Oh, and, and just think about four twenty is another funny number. You get four twenty. We go. Four twenty is very funny. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and just think about all the things we'll be able to discuss. His fake beard. His oh, lack God. of clarity on what his deal is. Yeah. What's the game? I don't quite yeah, know. You can talk about is. napping and snacking. Mm -hmm. His two favorite things. We are also. I want to say we're less than a thousand dollars away from hearing my life. They wish. How much? Less than a thousand. Less than Sharp a thousand dollars. We talk about his during... segment. That could be really good. They're not sweatshirts. Let's promise. Well, let's promise. If we cross eighteen thousand, the first thing we're going to talk about is his sweatpants. <laughs> Absolutely. That is that is the that is the beginning of the of the new podcast is the sweatpants, right? Yeah, it's on. Yeah. Be, every every episode's yeah. going to have a segment on the sweatpants. Yeah. Uh, Hang on, tech. Let me add this up. Patrick, can I ask you a question? I, I don't mean to jump on the on the toes of the of the uh, potential. You better, you better start, talking, start talking about me, guys. Start talking about me. What Patrick, has it happened? Eighteen fifty-two seventy-nine. Nice. We will introduce the podcast. Start it we'll off, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Screw. We're just going to talk about Patrick. This is the podcast where we talk about all things Patrick. This is for all you Pat racks out there. You, you, you. Uh, you caught nerds, you caught knots. It'd be like Mark Marin, where he like has that little <laughs> run of things just for all the different names. <laughs> uh, you caught knots, you caught nerds, you pat racks, caught blockers, you rat, you rat patch, you caught blockers. Uh, we're talking to you guys. We're talking. Th these are the things that are of concern. First on the docket, what's going on with these sweatpants? I throw it to retired filmmaker pants. George Lucas. They're Let's see them. Pants. Patrick. Patrick, can I ask Whoa. you a question? What? Would you describe yourself as a sweaty Betty? No. I have a question. Patrick, would you describe yourself as a clammy Sammy? No. No. Why not? I don't know. Why wouldn't you describe yourself that way? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. I don't know. I've, yes never thought of it. Yes I've never thought of it that way. Look at that. California, baby. <laughs> Look at that. California, um, baby. Good to be here. You guys better keep talking. Why? So, oh. Patrick, I guess uh, let's talk about Patrick's five most recent failures. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I'd say this Wi-Fi debacle that he tried to blame on his somebody else. That's a huge one. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolute nightmare. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Trying to pass off that beard is real is number two. I think the uh, sheepish the sheepishness of his uh, sweatpants. I think he should be proud of those sweatpants. He likes them. Yeah. Can Why I just get a look at them? Why not get a look at them? them? Yeah, you are going to them. Yeah, let's go tubin. Yeah. Let's go tubin. Yeah, tubin it up. Give me the tubin shot. At least Pee Wee Herman was in an X-rated movie theater. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a real tubing angle. <laughs> and Patrick, wow. Patrick, Patrick, can you act like you're talking to someone else, like you don't know that I you're? Have, no, no, no. Yeah, no. I want the I want it on rye. Patrick Crush. I want it on rye. No mayo. No Patrick, mayo. I don't want Patrick, it too much. Blow a kiss. Yeah. Oh, he's so oh. shocked. Oh, it's good. Oh, he went full tube in there. That Very guy cool. is not going to be doing a cameo on The Undoing. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Voice only. <laughs> yeah. 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 Patrick's just getting all his Hollywood cameos canceled because of that tube in shot. That's too bad. Uh -huh. What a shame. What, what a shame. shame. What, a shame. Uh, what other... What other orders of business? What else is on the minutes? Will? So, uh, yeah, we've covered the sweatpants. We've covered his recent failures. Let's go on pitches of what his games and deal could be since his current deal is kind of vague and undefined. 
let's just what yeah. could we what could we throw in? I, I'm a little well. I I'm I'm a little worried because I don't have we seen him snack today. No. Oh wow! So snack, he's wait. snack is a good deal for Patrick. But, but I don't know if he might have fallen asleep. It's possible that during that last part where he was just showing the sweatpants and we heard his voice, that he mm -hmm. might have pre-recorded that so he could take a little nap. He's clever in the way that he'll he'll orchestrate times, even to take naps as 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 short as a few seconds. He'll yeah. go to a lot of work just to catch a few Z's. Yeah. And and these are clearly established games in our first live stream back in May. He has not hit them in a while. Yeah, yeah. that's rough. He sort of dropped the threads. Uh, I'd love to take a nap. I'll take a nap later if people want me to. Sure. And I'll eat. I'll eat in probably an hour. Does anyone have suggestions on what I could order to eat? Yeah, get the, get the, the board up. Let's see the, the, the board. Yeah, let me make sure it's uh, up to date. Hang on one sec. Um, yeah, this okay. is so, this yeah. is so your life day wish is 19, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's say 1850 Patrick eats, he snacks. Eight, you're saying then, you're saying 18500? Yes. Okay. And let's let's say 1950 Pat naps. Well, I'm not going to nap till later. I'm not going to nap till later. Then put it up higher. What number is it? That's bad improv to say no, but it is good playing it real. I like Yeah. yeah. I don't think you should get a nap until 30, 30,000. I said 25 is where I put it. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Um 25,000 is reasonable. I think that's good for a nap number. I, Patrick, I love that we pushed your your life day wish all the way to nineteen thousand. I think it's going to land at exactly the right moment. All right, next segment for this podcast, we're going to talk about Patrick's gray hairs. Somebody in the chat brought this up, and I think it's a good topic. Now, is Patrick gray himself gray? was mystified recently to discover how gray his left flank is. Yeah, let's see yeah. the now, left. Is flank. the left is the left flank grayer than the the right flank? Let's see the right I flank. I don't know. No, the right flank is way more gray. Yeah, I think that actually might be true. Yeah. You think the right flank is way more gray? Yes, it's, that's positively Reed Richards over there. Let's... Yeah. Can, can I say it? And I don't know if this is yeah. if this is going to get me in hot water. I hope so. Yeah. I think the gray is Patrick's best attribute. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Now, can you defend that? You think it makes him like distinguished and intelligent, sort of? I, I think it gives him a a sort of unearned air of maturity. <laughs> I absolutely I think it's, a, I it, absolutely it's one, of, one of the most positive things that he physically has going for himself, even if it in and of itself is something of I, a, a lie. I do yeah. like unearned authority is my favorite kind when I know that the person okay. just didn't deserve it at all. I, that's what I like to yeah. see. No. Yeah. No, Cause I'm like, I'm looking at this guy. I'm like, he's not even 30 and he's walking around here yeah. with his gray hair trying to act like we should be fucking bowing to him. Silver yeah. rat. Patrick's walking yeah. around like he, uh, I, uh, Patrick's walking around like he's wearing a danger mouse mashup tape on his head. Yes. What does that mean? The gray album. Okay. Uh, Will something, Patrick, that we, Patrick? Patrick, the hairs on your head—they remind me of a bowl of cereal, specifically frosted flakes. Almost. Why is that? Why is that you know why? why? Because they're great. <laughs> Will well, Tony the Tiger our, coming at you? One of our stretch goals that we hit was to hear from a musical guest. Okay. And yeah. I think it, so we're gonna watch a video Wait, now. Hold on. We Wait. have to put on our our video watching pod racing goggles, guys. Well, you'll be able to see it just fine. We just couldn't. Yeah, guests, guests can see it, but we can only see it with these special goggles. This is uh, this is from our friend Grand Bell Fisher from the Studio 60 episode. Studio 60. Oh, uh, Bryson, whenever you're ready. Just one more round, friend. Homeward bound friend, don't forget me in your dreams. Just one more song, friend, and then so long, friend. The night. 
odds of getting shoulder so it seems just one more rhyme friend yes it's a crime friend but you know time friend you know time can fly so it's good night friend good night but not goodbye One more drop, friend, before we stop, friend. Just one more moment, face to face. Next time you're dry, friend, try stopping by, friend. If there is a light on in this place, we may not thrive, friend, but we survive, friend. Look, we are alive, friend. Wow, that was incredible. That is the yeah. B. Arthur song from the holiday special. Wow. Yeah, we know. I'm yeah. just making sure everyone knows, Wado. Yeah, I didn't know that. Thank you, Patrick. Yeah. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, um, Will, do you have any last last leaving uh, parting holiday? Wow, no? what a great way to usher me out. But uh, no, I, don't, I don't mind. I'll take the hint. Will, you're Will, getting the boot. This is a Will, part of the show Will, where Will, Patrick gives you the boot. Well, let well, me just wrap up the podcast episode because that song was part of the podcast episode. And then I'll, oh, and then wow. I'll go. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's been another episode of Screw. We're just going to talk about Patrick. Please stay tuned. Uh, we'll see you on the next episode. And thanks so much for tuning in. Rate, review, and subscribe. Rate, review, and subscribe. Rate, review, and subscribe. The podcast within this broadcast. Bye. Please give us five stars in the comments of this episode of Screw. We're just going to talk about Patrick. Right. Only five stars and give us a little review. We appreciate that. And, um, if you roast Patrick, we'll read it on the next episode. All right. All right. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you, Will. We'll see you see soon. Y'all. Bye. Bye, Patrick. Bye, Happy George. Life Bye, Day. Wado. Bye, Patrick. Bye, Will. Happy Life Day.
Um, guys, we have here's the thing you need to know about Patrick Cotton or when it comes to boots. Once he was a licker, now he's the kicker. Yeah, we got to swap over stream yards, guys. So let's do that right. now. I put catch it in the right, catch on the stream.